Yeah. Hey, I'm about to bake me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, though. You should, though. Yeah. You should. <clears throat> you should. <laughs> Eat that shit in the middle of the interview. They got a knife? Yeah. Get them a knife, man. Don't make it with no spoon. <laughs> That's the worst shit in the world. Trying to make a peanut butter and jelly with a goddamn spoon. It's few things sadder <laughs> than a nigga tearing up the bread. <laughs> Running. Running like I run. I run to the house to get some fun. Snacks, had a few packs. Came to the front, but I walk around the back. Cause okay. the front door was locked and I not have my key. Peep through the window. Open up, cause it's me. <laughs> See? Yes. Doing my best. <laughs> Ran out of clothes and got dressed. Okay. Came outside accidentally fresh. fresh. Watch what I do when I come to act a fool. I'll have a performance at the lunch at school. Okay. On the damn stage, <laughs> always get paid. Used to ride a Cadillac Nash Escalade. Hold on, bring it back to the Middle East. Didn't bring the bombs because I brought a lot of peace. <laughs> And you know I got grease. Yes. You Ooh. want to buy it? It's two for five a piece. Ooh. Wear the jeans with the crease. That's bullshit. Even had some doctors with the fleece. Watch out for the police. <laughs> Is that your niece? <laughs> we don't rent because we lease. <laughs> we don't go to sleep. <laughs> We got to watch the people across the street <laughs> because you know they late night creep. There's some late night creeps in the neighborhood. I don't think my neighbors over there are doing too good. They had a sale sign in the yard the other day. Don't nobody want to stay where they stay. <laughs> but that's about how the fuck can you sell a house <laughs> if it's in the same spot? We never even thought about what we got. Let's take it to the spot. Go. Cause the block got hot when them folks got shot. shot. Oh, but I ain't gonna say nobody name because they gonna change the headline, but the story's still the same. Oh. Hey, I was fearing for my life. I thought I had my taser. Yeah, that sound right, right. no. Oh. Hold up, it's too oh, real. That. They need to write a law or pass a bill. Hey. So them boys of them can chill. And you can get pulled over without getting, mm, don't say the word, cause it's really absurd. Those Ooh. are the words that I heard when I listened to her. She like, Ooh. it was really an accident. No, it wasn't, bitch. We know you meant to do that stupid shit, but we ain't gonna even point the finger or point the blame, cause uh, everybody already got your badge in your name. Now you gonna resign because they done caught you red-handed and you lying. Right. Oh. Man, watch the trial. These folk gonna be like, he would've died with a smile. How the fuck they gonna even say that? I can't believe that's the defense. How they gonna play that? Talking about he would've died anyway. That's some dumb shit to say because we oh, all got a day. Oh, hold up. Wait, real. Let me just chill. Let me take some Advil or One. some Tylenol. But my pain ain't too small. I'm trying to just big ball. Do it like Duval and go hang out on my island with a bad bitch and her bad friend and do some good shit. Did you get what I said I'm talking about? Like taking some pictures, getting in some head, yeah. sleeping in an old school big water bed. Walk around with no shoes on, Flintstone Fred. <laughs> Flintstone Fred. Walk around with no, no shoes on, on Flintstone, Flintstone Fred. Fred. That's what I said because uh, that's off the head. Like your girl do. I had a curl too, but that was when I was probably like two. But it was natural, fool. Ooh. Hey, welcome back. Hey. Hey. Welcome back. Welcome Why back. You <laughs> You know Boy, how we crazy. get down Real at the shit. trap, bro. Yeah. Nice. We got we got a What's motherfucking up, What's up, bro? <laughs> we got a dog in here What's with up, us today, man. One of the one of the coldest out here, man. One of All these niggas ass. who uh 
who consistent as hell and very dependable with the information. <laughs> you get oh, what I'm saying? Okay. Right now, I feel like he is on strike, though. My yeah. nigga took his talents where well, they are appreciated. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You have to have a subscription <laughs> and a password oh, to hit man. a yeah. My dog been talking lately. None other than my brother, man. Come on. Ryan Davis. Ryan Davis. Yeah. What's, What's up, man? Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, Welcome. Yes, sir. Uh, what you doing, bro? Man, take my shit to South Beach, nigga. Bro. Okay, uh, yeah, nah, come man. on out here. It was a, uh, I took my shit to Patreon because. They paying? Was, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah see? it's a subscription base. Yeah, it's a subscription base. So yeah, see? Uh, to see the content, you got to pay me per month. But um, it was weird, man. Social media just got to a point where they just, they trying to censor everything you say. Oh, like, they, they censor my show a lot. They, they oh yeah, no, nah, I'm sure. Try to flag it and demonetize it. That's what I'm saying. But once so, you demonetize me, now I ain't even getting paid for nothing no yeah, more. We about to get. They we about, we about, we about to go over there with you. Yeah. I'm so tired of seeing people bootleg our show. Bootlegging the whole show, oh, they, they and getting views. They got a whole damn channel. Got a, He's like, hey, come here to see all your 85 South shit. Greatest hits. Greatest hits. And it ain't shit. Carlos' craziest moments. <laughs> Nobody told you to do that yeah. shit. <laughs> Carlos in the red hat with, moments. Uh, Stop making moments. <laughs> My reaction to what Carlos said. Bitch got 1.9 million views. And he ain't saying nothing. He ain't saying nothing. <laughs> it's just uh, <laughs> Carlos, <laughs> Carlos crazy. Let's go back to the show. <laughs> Y'all see me laughing at him. <laughs> Drop hey. in the comments what I should laugh at him saying. Hey. How then they it? put the joke in the caption. Carlos said, rub it on a titty. <laughs> <laughs> How was he laughing though? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, the extra. Then the, the little steel. Y'all see me laughing. Nigga. Fucking. Oh. Nah, I got tired of that shit, man. It wasn't, for me, it wasn't even really Fuck. about the money, man. It was about. Clip. If I if I didn't do it, I think I would have lost who I was. You know the what I mean? Money make it sweeter too. Yeah, nah, I do. I ain't never gonna lose who I am. Nah, but once you get to a point where it seems like they're taking down everything you put up, you go, hey man, I can't be myself on here. So if you want the content the way I like to make it, you know, just break me off five dollars. You can see it. Yeah. I ain't want to overcharge nothing crazy. Yeah. You know, some niggas will find any excuse not to give you $5. Uh, God damn, bro. That's. <laughs> Somebody, all right, so there. My kids got to eat. No, man, come on. Yeah. Right, $5 damn, a month. <laughs> like, my what kids got to eat. Bro? Like, like, you that's that's, that's, that's uh, going to stop us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we see them in the, in, the, in your comments. Yeah. yeah, damn, you ain't got nothing for free. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is how far motherfuckers go. All right, so Derek Jackson ass got caught cheating, right? And then me and Derek, we, I still consider us, because I ain't got no ill will to him, but he got to get these jokes. So I was like, I was like, yo, I'm going to do a three-part Derek Jackson series on my Patreon, right? This, man, this bitch is commenting on my shit talking about some. I know you and Derek in cahoots together. Y'all making this whole thing up so y'all can split the Patreon money. Did you think we working that hard to get $5 off you? That this nigga gonna ruin his career and his marriage so he can split five, your $5 with me for $2.50 a person. On, That's what man. you thought? On, I was like, man, they'll say anything to not pay, nigga. And she's so bold to make it think that it was going to be a 50-50 split. Bro. Yo, why? once again. Why would I cut his name? Why? It's your page. You, you yeah. got to split. You don't, <laughs> no. Man, I was... I know y'all. What My nigga is gonna take shit, that deal? They? I know your life is going great, but I'm gonna need you to ruin it completely, and then I'm gonna make fun of you, and you'll get two dollars and fifty cent off every person that come watch it. Hey, what is that, nigga? <laughs> that's that's the worst one-time deal I've ever heard in your life. Yo, I would have had to have a billion followers for that shit to make sense. There ain't no way I'm about to get on the goddamn internet and apologize for nothing. For nothing? Oh, Not no. nothing. Fuck y'all. Nigga, that's just, Oh, yeah. Nah, that nigga was That just seemed like him got more publicity. I ain't no shit about him until that happened. Oh, I ain't nah. know. 
Good luck. That nigga got caught cheating on his wife and apologized to the internet. <laughs> Look at Y'all us. caught me. <laughs> she, ain't, she still don't know. <laughs> You she pulled out headphones. You, you that bitch pulled out some earbuds at the end. What you said, baby? <laughs> you Yo, you hear that? I don't never understand it. I don't feel the need to explain myself to the public. Don't. Like that. No, I, I, um, <laughs> that no. shit's funny to me. Like you said, he apologized to the internet, the internet for some shit he did to his woman. In real life. You know, I know. And then they were like, we fixed everything. So why are you talking to me? And I feel like the nigga go against it wrong. He did the whole shit backwards as hell. That, that's fucked up. No, that's what he get for lying. He was Let's set just up. Keep it real. He, yeah, that's what happened when, when you do all that shit. Of course. He might have just been he might have just been living righteous up until that point. And then they ain't got nothing on him before what I'm that. Saying. He might have had one bad summer. He might have fell victim to the plot. Like he might have really been living like that. And then one of them chicks made it easy. And then he started slipping into the coochie. And then it's easy to get caught the up. In, he got caught up in it. And then they tell you about she that. She was like, "Buy me some boots." And he was like, "Buy you some boots? I ain't buying you shit." Oh, I'm about to put no. these screenshots up. Um, Do it. Coochie slipping. Exactly. <laughs> I think he got. I think he got buyer's remorse. I think he got double crossed. That happened to a lot of niggas. That happened to a lot of niggas. Got sniped. You go. (laughs) He got sniped. A lot of these chicks. I ain't making excuses for him. I'm just saying hypothetically. Nah, shit like that happened, man. Like a woman could, like when you in this industry, shit, man. A woman could be your fan, love you to death, want to fuck with you and everything. You fuck her, and if you don't talk to her the right way, when she leaves. Then you can't go get the fuck out. You got to be like, hey, thank you for uh, the time you invested in this exchange. You're greatly appreciated, hey, man. You got to get her an Uber black. You got to do a whole bunch of shit to make her feel special. Because if she don't feel special, then she feel used. And then she go put you out on the internet. Coochie. Because you could, because you, you kept it real. Yeah, because you, you kept, kept it real. You kept it real and you didn't make it. Plush. Yeah, because you, you didn't make her feel special. Coochie slipping. The dark side of coochie. <laughs> and that's the that's talk the part, about this shit. That's more, the bro. part that uh, that I don't never understand. Like, what if she didn't give you the right kind of coochie? Right. Sometimes what if, what you didn't make me the, feel special. What if that's the direct result of what your coochie did? <laughs> Maybe your coochie rubbed him the wrong way. Because everybody didn't have some coochie that wasn't fun. No. No. I mean, it, I, didn't, I didn't say it wasn't good. I just said it wasn't fun. Some coochie is just more funner than others. More funner? More funner. I <laughs> <laughs> like it was a slippery slide. You done been to some coochie versus a regular slide. This shit got a... This got a slide. The slide more fun, but the You're slipping no slide is way more like, fun. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I like this. This is... This is different right here. I fuck with this. You feel like it's set up different. It is. You like the this pussy got the upstairs. The way is different. <laughs> I'm upstairs. The coochie got a balcony. Oh. <laughs> the coochie is got this a balcony. Oh my. This coochie got a fireplace. Well, I, I, I am that. in the vestibule. Man, Man. you gotta be careful though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, nah, I'm out. It's a lot of evil. Nah, lurking. I'm out. I'm out the game. It's a lot of evil lurking in these coochies, man. Yeah. I'm trying to get married, nigga. I'm out. For real? Yeah. I'm that's what you. That's your mission. Yeah, that's my mission. You, I'm see, to you, you, you you seeking a wife? I'm looking for somebody to die like, with. Like 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 Prince Hakeem and shit. <laughs> yeah. Look, I ain't looking for no. Nah, I ain't looking for no fairy tale shit. Like Prince Hakeem was like, I want a woman who's beautiful, who who stimulates my mind as well as my loins. I just want somebody that uh, we just not gonna cheat on each other and die together. That's pretty much. Damn, you're gonna have you got to on the floor. I'm out the game. Sweet, that make it sound a little better. <laughs> nah, just I, a little bit. I, I wish I could. I wish I could say I was looking for something more. I just, I ain't even got to be attracted to you at this point. I just need somebody to be. I just need somebody what? to die. I'm looking for somebody to die with, nigga. It's over. I'm out My the nigga streets. is just throwing his all his cards on his head. Bitch, be alive. Be alive. Be alive. Can you exist? <laughs> yeah. Can you exist? No, I man. just want better for you, man. I want better for me, Damn. man. But I'm telling you. That's what not, you want. 
you get tired, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'm 34, but I feel 134, nigga. It's like, hey, man, just wait. Why you just been, wait. You, Trust me. I hear you. Listen. I hear you, listen, but I'm just like, listen. What oh, wore you down? Listen. Oh, man. Hey, what wore hey, you down, Brian, brother? Brian. Wait this thing out. Wait it out. Wait this thing out. Hold right. on, man. Keep your heart, right, Davis. <laughs> hey, hey, Wait a minute, so it might hold just on. be because Mercury getting a boosted fade. Just, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You might hit by the time this shit come out, you're gonna be like, no, uh-uh. I bet. Yeah. Hey. Mercury. Standards then went up. Mercury is Murphy a, Brown and, and Gatorade. Like, yo, Mercury <laughs> is a retrograde. It's not getting a boosty fade, man. Nigga, <laughs> that hey. is y'all stupid. I, uh, Bro. nah, man, it got to a point where it was just like, for me, it's like, I, I want to be the only one lying in my relationship. And that's why you going to be lying. And, and oh, that's they not the case. They, they going to do that. They uh, lie now. They going to lie. You just hey, got man, let me give you some advice. They live, lie when I was younger. Live your life going forward. <laughs> Live it going Shit. forward. Yeah, if you show up as a new nigga, you ain't got nothing to lie about. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Start don't be, bringing, don't be Start trying over. to explain your past to your future. That, reason, that wasn't even me then. Hey, that's a bar. Yeah. Don't be trying to explain your past to your future. Because your yeah. sales change. Yeah, whatever I did before I got here, made, it got me here. So fuck I, that. I think, I'm a nah, share. I'm we be hanging on to my form or something. We be hanging on to history too much. And you want mm -hmm. everybody, hey, I did this. And I'm, no, I'm, 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 fucking, I'm fucking around, but you know what I think it really is? What? I know my career is on the cusp to being to the point where I can't really trust a person's intentions. Yeah, so I kind of want somebody to be with before shit really get Mm -mm, cause then you're trying to find Then you're going to get it and you be like, uh-uh, I want a new somebody. <laughs> don't even I'm tell you. I'm going to get up there and be okay, like, you, okay. you don't match my success. It don't make exactly. sense. No, nah, I wouldn't do it like so that. So step up. <laughs> go up. Mm -hmm. shoot, shoot a level higher than what you done ever shot for. Because yeah. you on that trajectory, right? And yeah. that's this is the time to go crazy with the... With the with the ask, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The universe. Because when, them women up go, there, they, they want some shit too. Yeah, they want some more shit. Your, your shit you ain't can, let them have what, some shit, and then they can just like you for right. what the fuck you got going on and what the fuck. That's you, what I'm saying. So yeah. at the basis of your argument, you just don't want somebody who gonna want you for the shit that you got. Mm -hmm. The easy solution to that is just get you somebody with, with more shit than you. You gotta shoot yeah. from beyond But the they arm. gonna be different. They gonna Cause be they different. want some shit. <laughs> and the shit they want, they already got it. Yeah. The, the physical shit, it's some shit you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. Now you might not be willing yeah. to do the shit yeah. to have the motherfuckers that you want. But oh man, okay. I say, I, I say move to Africa. I'm gonna be about three. Shit, this is even worse because now they got the same problem in a different language. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Shit. shit, shit. Okay. It don't matter where you go. Dealing with women gonna be complicated. Oh yeah, nah, way. it is, man. You know what? I should have. Uh, I should have. I should have married the mother of my children years ago. Hey man, you the first nigga I ever heard say that. <laughs> this turned into something totally different. You want, you want. No, 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 no. To the camera. We the first, like. If she come through the I hear, door, shut this door. I hear this, no, I hear this. Uh, you need a shot or I, No, I hear this all the time because niggas. <laughs> Really don't get along with theirs, but mine, I ain't really had no issues. It ain't about mine. getting along, it's just, bro, woo. <laughs> me and mine, we, we good, bro. Man, this shit too deep for me. What else? What else? What else? I don't <laughs> want to talk about none of this. What else? <laughs> what else? I don't even want to talk about that shit. Hey, man. Everything's rough out here, no, nigga. Man. They shooting niggas and saying no, it's a table. Else, what else? DMX on. dying, what nigga. Else, I ain't, bro? man, I ain't that shit trying to talk about bro. none of that shit. What else, bro? That shit broke my heart. <laughs> What? Yeah. The DMX shit. Oh, I'm about to say, nigga, come on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you want to get married to an ass man? <laughs> Bro, oh, I got right love for my okay. I got love for the mother of my kids, man. Hey, all you niggas who. who Has she ever heard that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So she's heard that. Yeah. But her nigga gonna be watching it and have to turn it off at this point. She ain't got no nigga. Nah. This nigga be all up in the motherfucking house. I'm gonna get love. Nah. Let's let's keep let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. I can't. 
I come from a small area. <laughs> exactly. That's they gonna all watch this shit. That nigga. <laughs> Yeah, I come, I come from a small area. It's gonna be really hard for her to date another nigga anyway. She already is, bro. Man, it's just gonna be hard for her to date another nigga. Watch this shit together. Hey, man. This nah, man. He gonna screen record this little part. See what that nigga said. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be that petty nigga though. She had a nigga. Sight. If she, she can have a nigga? Huh? No. She can have a nigga? Nah, she can. She just, she don't do it. How you know? Because, man, you hope we she tight. Don't. You hope she does. We don't. tight. Yeah. <laughs> Me and mine tight. Bruh. Listen, if she did, she did, but we tight. Check she this was, out. Just be what it is. It's hard, bro. It's like this, though. Like, that pussy gonna have some visitors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what? He said, don't tell bro, him that. I'm a nigga older than him. I can't be Listen, having him out here believing this shit. I, but I said a boyfriend. I ain't say what nobody what? fucking. What? That's not the same you shit. You tell me that a nigga and go fuck your baby mama but can't be in a relationship with him. What type of bad is this shit? That's the, way, that's the way I've been living life for a while. You I've believe been, it? I've been single a long time, but I've been fucking. That's what Everybody ain't wanting to make somebody their girlfriend all the time. Hey, bro. man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she is a woman. She can do that. She decide any moment that a nigga her boyfriend. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be over there with my bag today. Yeah, fuck that. Nigga show up at 1130 with a drill, changing the front lock. Uh, uh, my kids will tell it. <laughs> my kids will tell it. Daddy's a man with a drill. They yeah, <laughs> they tell it. You got to listen to them kids. Yeah. They'll tell it. You you I, I know kids. my kids will tell it, nigga. <laughs> my daughter will tell it. Hey, it's a man be coming around. Yeah. <laughs> what? This nigga be no be listening. What man? The man, he, he, he put that shelf tall. up. He, he be drilling. And the motherfuckers don't listen to that kids. Can't believe the shit happened. Yeah. It be a man in the house. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> He be a man, be a tall dude, he no. go, go man! <laughs> this is how you know this. All right, six o'clock, now go to bed, shit! How the fuck this nigga been in the house? He been fucking all this time, he told me to be here! I'm thinking about to do the kind of magic with his friends! Nope. No, baby. This nigga, this nigga been over telling you. Because kids will say the shit wrong and let you know it's been going on yeah. longer than you oh, thought they it was. tell you. My other dad. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait a minute. My wait other dad. daddy. Wait, wait, wait. What you mean? You talking about motorcycle daddy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> motorcycle daddy? Nah, yeah, yeah. daddy with the motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, he looks like your daddy, but he got a motorcycle. You what? Right. <laughs> he got a motorcycle at our house. It's at our house. Dad, I'm gonna let you see the motorcycle when you take us home. <laughs> He'll go right in hell. My daddy said, "Can you see a motorcycle?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, tell him come on in. Hey, man. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga told me some foul know. shit and made seven uh, scenarios. Uh, <laughs> with a whole, you gonna paint that whole picture in my head. Thank I'm you. Just thank, with thank, you nah, nah, thank that you, shit ain't real, bro. Thank you, yeah, thank you, so man. Eat your sandwich, bro. Your sandwich, bro. Yeah, You'll be all right, bro. Uh, you keep believing that shit, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a nigga. I've been in the battlefield doing this shit, dodging man. I seen some shit you ain't seen. I seen a lot of shit, things. You think I'm telling you? Just, just, Appreciate uh, that, Sensei. Just be careful out here. Man. I am. Remain optimistic. But what if you meet the girl of your dreams and you don't like her either? I don't know, man. What if the girl of your dreams ain't even your type for real? <laughs> like you meet her and she perfect. She just do weird shit. Like eat cold tomato soup. <laughs> like shit you just can't even explain. How does she eat it? Ice How does milk? she eat it? It's from the can to the bowl. Oh. <laughs> Has this happened? I'm just saying, what he is said, He this said happened. it like I'm he's experienced before. I'm on that weed. I'm on that weed. But I'm just saying. This is I how have, we I have like deal breakers <laughs> like that. I always said if, uh, uh, if you put ice in your orange juice, I'm just I'm just out. I don't really need an explanation for that. Right. 
Yeah, it's cold already. Why you got ice in it? This is the strange thing to me. We drink hot orange juice. Where'd you find it's, hot it's, orange It's an juice? African delicacy. Oh, is it? Yeah, nigga. No, I'm just bullshit, nigga. It just turned to liquor. You Boy, y'all had them Africans on the stomach hurt. Ass, man. I, I, I fucking love them, though, from right, all yo, over. I'm they, talking they, shit. Come over here. Like, they how am I going to find you when I get they over there? They got way better fruit. They shit. got some fruit. They got some weed that grow on the tree. With the fruit? Fall off. It's fruit. <laughs> At that point, that's how sticky it is. What is Hey, that's yeah. You have had way more conversations with him than I have. I thought maybe you was deciphering that one. No, no, man. Fruit I know from what the I tree, said. weed grows, falls, mm. and it's Kush. I never heard this. Shit I just before. eat what's available in America. You just said right? it back in a haiku. If that don't tell you the shit true, I don't know what it means. You it just did sound like a haiku. It in a haiku. <laughs> Fruit trees. <fall. laughs> I said that's what I said, but the you said the way it's slicker, but you don't understand. No, okay. I do I'm understand. Right. No, I'm fucking with you. That's how you said it. You broke that shit down to Damn. Confucius levels. Next time I'm coming here, I'm getting high with y'all. Mm-mm. You are. Yeah. You don't smoke, right? No, so you I'm gonna drop edibles. acid. You, yeah, no, you don't go. Don't go. <laughs> what did you no. say? I'm gonna drop acid. Oh, I thought you said you y'all. dropped acid. No, like, no, 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 no. If I did, I'll be, be able to tell right you now. You are yeah. a wild nigga. You'd be able to, to drop tell right acid now. And, and wear then, yellow, <laughs> come out, and, and be like, like you gonna be, you like, man. I know everybody gonna know, but I want them to know a little more. So it trained. I couldn't, I couldn't do no shit like myself that. Myself in a vase. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's too many niggas looking directly at like like if people don't really know no, how the show set up. Too. But it's like 30 niggas looking at you. And if I was on acid. Don't tell them that they're going to really believe that's 30 niggas. You know, it's, we, exaggeration is how it goes. Okay. All right. It's like nine niggas looking at you, right? It's, seven. It's like it's seven. seven. Okay. okay. I'm just saying, keep the numbers low. It's video, people. I'm not really counting, niggas. They're all screens. It's a Zoom call. On, yeah. <laughs> they six feet apart. But I couldn't. It's I a couldn't. Zoom call. Like you, uh, you surround me with a bunch of people with masks on, and I'm high. I get paranoid, nigga. Really? Yeah, what? You don't like it? You don't like the mask? Nah, I'm not a big fan. Of I the like mask, it, bro. Mm. Everybody look like Mortal Kombat yeah, characters. Yeah, fuck I don't it. Like I, love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ugly bitches, you just keep the mask on. <laughs> we make you paranoid. No, just no, keep no, it no. on. Mm. I just don't like the way that shit feel in my lungs. I do edibles. Mm. Wait, we, nah, he he was on my drug episode on my podcast. Yeah, we yeah, make I do everything myself. It got it really get in touch with my inner self. I don't know. I can't tell the difference, bro. I done been around you a lot, both. You same nigga, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. The only difference is when I smoke weed, I can hear my inner self saying shit. Like you say, you get paranoid and shit, and then like my inner self be like, there ain't nobody over there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. My inner self really be making decisions. Yeah. On some, like, that's the motherfucker who be like, you need to go and order something to eat That's now. what it's like now. when I do. Uh, now, don't so wait, because ain't nothing going to be open. Okay. Ain't nothing going to be open. Okay. Ain't nothing going to be open. That's all you hear in the back of your mind. Ain't nothing going to be open. Find something open. you don't mind warming up. Open. I'm not about to, I'm not thinking for right now. I'm thinking about be how high I'm open. about to be. And I, see, I, I can was, see why you do yeah. it right now. Yeah. My, my drug of choice is mushrooms, and it's the same thing. My oh. inner self. Oh. So it's a way please, better version please of myself. Please give me at least one. Can, can, yeah. What is your trip story? Or how does it how does it affect you? What do you do? Are you I a mean, nature dude? I'm Are a, you in no, the no, house? No, no. What I'm do you do? I'm in doing? the house, man. Having just these introspective ass conversations with my inner self. I, the inner self that I hear is way, it's like the smartest part of me mm. and the most mature part of me having the conversation with me. Mm. And it's uh, it's interesting, but it's I didn't realize it was one of those drugs that the way you feel whenever you take it matters. Yes, sir. That's the most important thing. Most important thing, whatever second time I feel, did it. <laughs> If you're not that, whatever you feel, whatever you think is gonna come true, even if it ain't. Yeah. I said whatever you think finna come true is gonna come true, even if it is so, not. So, so if I was on some mushrooms and I was thinking about a lot of money and some like Nick and women with big titties, that show up. You'd see them, bro. It would show up, but it would be fucking wrong. Yeah. 
<laughs> it would be wrong. It like would it'd be, be like, naked women with dollar bills on their face. It'd yeah. be even, it'd and be titties even, on their back. It'd be even worse, yeah. bro. It'd be even worse. It'd be like, well, big, everything that big, I had mm, thought about is here. Mm, it's just not in the right place. That shit gonna be terrible. It'd be a big titty mannequin on top of an ATM machine with $2 <laughs> inside of it. And it's some blood on it and shit. And you just gotta figure out if you wanna go in there and grab them a couple dollars. No, <laughs> but I don't have no money. I don't, I don't get, I don't hallucinate. I don't take that much. You just be chill. Yeah, I chill. And I just had these. Cause I'm not an emotional dude at You're not. all. You and give a fuck about nothing? I don't give a fuck about You get that shit out? Do the so, psilocybin? So the, yeah, the psilocybin makes me get that shit out. Okay. Oh, you be so, emotional. The, uh, I'm not like. Crying and shit. Nah, the, uh, <laughs> the inner me, like the higher consciousness you part of me. You cried about the wrong shit, my nigga, is, though. I was yeah, crying. it's like. I was you, crying you cried. I used to love the Ninja Turtles. I don't <laughs> know why this shit made me <laughs> cry, my nigga. You were crying. No, I ain't crying. You were crying. Nah. You want to two you, you don't talk, I'll make somebody cry. Oh, okay. Like, we'll talk, because I'll get, like, really, really deep. You be shroom dialing. No, no, no. I, oh, I don't okay. ever get high without people around. Just in case, like, I see a leprechaun run across the floor, I gotta be like, none of y'all saw that, right? See, I don't and want be like, no. I be and then I'll be like, oh, okay, so that's just in my yeah, head. Yeah, see, I don't yeah. want nothing that gotta I don't be super bad. I don't think that nah, happen, I'm just bro. saying. You go I'm, way it, that's what far. I'm saying. It's never happened, but I don't, I don't trust, I don't want to get that far and be by myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nah. nah. You gotta, gotta be comfortable. You gotta be comfortable. That's part of it. You gotta be somewhere safe. The excited, second time I did it, I wasn't. I didn't know any better. You I was out there in the wild. Man, I was just chilling. I was bored. Oh, yeah. That yeah, was bored sorry. and just took a handful. I ate that shit. Damn. And then. Uh, you regret that shit. Regret it. That but what shit. you do? Nigga, you that stayed shit, at the house? It took control of my whole nervous system, <clears> nigga. <throat> like every piece of breeze or change in temperature. I could feel that shit and mm. it was fucking with me. And then the couch, I couldn't get off the couch because it was too soft. This sounds like weed to me. See, <laughs> so that's the way you, when you said like the inner you, I was like, it's damn, that sounds like, like my mushroom should, shit. Yeah, you should, yeah, you should just get some. Up. Nah, weed don't, weed don't do that for me. <laughs> weed made me pair, all right. Nigga, I this had some weed so good, I was in the shower. It felt like little fingers was coming out that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I bullshit you not. I was in there for about two hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga, on mushrooms. Swear to God, I was doing this to the couch for 15 minutes. Boy, you petted your couch for 15 minutes. Now, now if every you got up and your couch got up and followed you like a big ass cat, you would have lost your guy. I would have lost mind. my motherfucking mind. See, so see at, no shit so like that. everybody was looking at me, alive. looking at me. But whenever I'm high on mushrooms, it's not. I'm not like out of it. Like I'm. I, you just. You yeah, I'm it, still I'm me. It, I know. Oh, I know I'm shit. doing it. Everybody's looking and laughing at me, and I'm like, I know this look crazy, but if you could feel it, bro. What if, if you, you could? What if, if you could just feel it? Oh my god! And in your in your hallucinations, all your jokes start coming to life. I started writing better what, jokes oh, after all I started doing jokes? mushrooms. They what all, you mean? I'm talking about they start like coming. every character. The, you and hallucinating shit? that all your jokes is coming <clears throat> out your mind. Like, <clears throat> nigga, I'm so glad you finally took that shit. God oh damn. hell no! Nah. Your whole set is. It's right. me, the first joke you wrote. Come on, you remember me? Oh, you too good to tell a dick joke. Oh, oh, you a smart nigga now. Remember, oh, remember, you, remember the closer was dingling. <laughs> Hold up, let me talk to her. It's your favorite doodle joke, baby. <laughs> I went all, you your first two years, we went everywhere to go. Everywhere to go. Ah, that was me. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, hold on, I've been looking for this nigga. You know me, I'm the t-shirt you used to sell. <laughs> with, your little, with your little logo. Man. What happened to Super Funny? I'm what, the, happened to, uh, what happened to, what happened I'm to the, Super Funny? I'm, I'm the DVD that you used to yeah, sell nigga, with the no. same jokes that you just told on stage. <laughs> Say everybody. Uh, man, let, me, let me talk to this nigga. Yeah. No, <laughs> let me talk to him. You wasn't on no comic view. <laughs> <laughs> I was on comic view. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, <laughs> I made you. I can't I can't do like it it's weird. Um I like to, whenever I get high, I like to be gone. I like my, I like my day ruined. Oh, okay. You yeah. Want, you, yeah, you need some day. You yeah. I don't, I don't know who these Y'all like the, you like, like the, you can function. I don't want to function. I want to be 
the day's over. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go buy some potting soil tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> the day's over. I'm but going I to the fucked up home improvement. Station. When I was trying to figure out how to do edibles, man, because edibles is a trial and error thing. You get to control it when you smoke, but edibles is a you sitting there and then it hits you and you like, it was too much. Bro, that's what. <laughs> so it was that shit. I wasn't been all. doing this shit too long. I get high and just order a bunch of shit off of Amazon. <laughs> and then by the time we get to the house, I beat him for God. Like, who the fuck ordered three first aid kits <laughs> and a Swiss Army knife? <laughs> oh, I did. My bad. Hey, and I, I don't like the paranoia that come. I don't get it all the time, but it was one time I uh, ate an edible and I was in uh, Indianapolis, right? All right, so I had been eating edibles from people who make it at home. Oh, no. Yeah, which was oh, dumb. Like, who ho who's home? Who's home? Where? Huh? Where? Oh, no, I was goofy, nigga. I was like, just on, home, on my like, first tour. Yeah, on my first tour, niggas was like, I make edibles. Oh, I was like, like, I'll, okay, yeah, I was like I'll take them. Always hey, trash. Cookie lady. Yeah, yeah it was okay. always trash, right? Yeah, so hate you for it that. made me think, it's okay. It was, <laughs> it's okay. Who go, oh, so my shit ain't good. No, it wasn't. To this nigga. <laughs> it wasn't in 2017. <laughs> you were blowing it. Tell so me. I went, uh, so I went to Indianapolis and they had a real edible with real measurements and shit in it. You know what I mean? But I ain't never tried nothing like that. It said, uh, just eat one, it said, eat one eighth <clears throat> and you'll get high. Or you can eat two eighths if you have a strong tolerance. Well, I think I have a super strong tolerance, but really I've just been getting shit edibles. So I eat a half, I eat four eighths. Nigga, I was so high whenever I, and I ate it in the morning, then I had to catch a flight later. I was so high, I thought you I was Pablo it. Escobar sneaking another half a gummy across the <laughs> across to another country. I thought everybody was watching me. In the airport, when I got you in the airport, the they had the little dog smelling everybody's bag. I was like, I knew these niggas knew that I was bringing this shit in here. I knew these motherfuckers was on me. So I'm sitting here, they asking for my boarding pass and everything. I'm handing it like, because in my mind, this shit is natural. This is, look natural, Ryan. Look, and the nigga is like, yo, I think this motherfucker high. They on to me, I knew it, I knew it. I know it. my brother is crying laughing. So you got one nigga like this in the airport and another nigga in tears standing behind him. We look so suspicious <laughs> in my mind. It's making me even more paranoid. I'm rocking. We make it back to North Carolina. I'm still thinking they want the little bit of edible I still got in my bag. So it's going around the carousel and I'm down at another carousel looking at it, waiting to see if somebody watching me to see if I'll go pick it up. Nigga, I was like, I ain't doing edibles no more in Indianapolis. And that's all you had was a piece of edible left? Nigga, that was, that's all I had in there. You would have thought I thought I was moving bricks of cocaine, nigga. It wasn't <laughs> nothing but half a gummy in there. No. No. Man. I was like, yeah, I'm going to take less next time. <laughs> it don't make me stop doing it, but it does make me go, I probably won't eat that much. Yeah, no. Nah, you that was. I learned, I'm, I do 50. I'm going to do all of them. Yeah, I do like 50 milligrams and bags of edibles on, on some podcasts we did in LA. I ate about 20. Oh, you remember that? What was one you talking about? Gummies. Which one you talking about? When we went out there and we were recording them shows and shit. The, that, you was there for that slim one too? Or that we? was the same week. That, I'm talking about in the studio. Oh, man. I had about three was... bags of edibles. I ate two of them. Them niggas had Mexican candy. Yeah. I ate all the Mexican candy. I didn't even know what Mexican candy was. And the first time I had, they had a bunch of weed and I fell asleep as soon as I hit the door when I went home. I, I ain't go to sleep. Niggas were taking naps in that bitch. I ain't go to sleep. I tucked it that out. That never hit me like that. It just make me do shit like eat an eight piece nugget without warming oh, it up. Oh, I ordered some food. Some shit. Oh my God, yeah. nigga. I just, eat, I just eat the shit without warming it up or something crazy. No like salt. That. No nothing. <laughs> yeah, I've eaten, but I've eaten with my hands when yeah. I was high. Yeah. Had a fork too, just didn't mm. mm -mm. get high and do stupid shit. Yeah, I like, just didn't feel the need. I, I was like, the it. scoop ain't gonna be big enough if I use the fork. Yeah, or my hands big. Scoop. I do, do stupid shit when I'm high. Like take one shoe off about two hours. Just have one shoe. Eating man. macaroni and cheese shit. like sunflower seeds. It was weird, Come on, bro. Man. What? Straight you, out the hand. Yeah. You was tripping, boy. 
You, you <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> well, you, this nigga going to do it. Yeah, you need a wife. Yeah. You need a wife. <laughs> yeah, you need. I, didn't I need Why somebody to watch over thing? me. I need yeah. somebody to watch niggas, over me, bro. The, the, the more we whole, talk, big dog, whole saying, I'm realizing mm-hmm. you need this nigga. <laughs> I need a babysitter, man. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. We on this month. We on this month. That's you right. Talking shit with Ryan Davis, Clayton English. J-O-N, what's happening? <laughs> playing, playing some. Yeah. You hear that? That's, that's that trap Caribbean music. <laughs> that's what I was like. <laughs> Sound like the video game, whoever when it's got the palm trees in the back. No, this is the bonus stage. Yeah. yeah. You gotta run through and grab some gold coins or some goofy <laughs> shit. <laughs> See, that's the power of it. Sound right like, like like a black Mario Kart when you get the star. Black Mario Kart, they drive caprices. Yeah, they drive caprices. This is the, this is what drive it sounds like when you get the star. What they drive, dog. Black they Mario, drive. his name gotta be Jamario. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Jamario. <laughs> I don't know nothing about no damn Jamario. <laughs> I don't know the damn thing about Jamario. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> Jamario! Shout out to that nigga, man. He got the same concept, same game, just in black. <laughs> Every time he jump on the motherfucker head, he be like, "No cap." Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me. It's Jamario. <laughs> no cap. This <laughs> is stupid. Mm-mm. That guy oh, taught you, you a lot, man. You can, when you get one of them stars, you can keep that shit as long as you flexing. That's what it's gonna be like. I'm flexing, 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 flexing. As long as what you do, yeah. As long as you still move, yeah. yeah. So as long yeah. as you don't do no goofy shit. The flower is a weed plant. What? Come on. Mm-hmm. Come on. What the game told you? <laughs> Jump on some of these mushrooms. Take the other ones. Right. <laughs> what? Turtle shell. Jump on that back. Pick it up. Kick it back, beat the block to the coin stop. That's what they say. He said, beat the goddamn block till it ain't no more motherfucking coins, and then move along. Right. You see a goomba? Jump hey. on that nigga's head. But at the end of the get, at the end of the day, take your ass home. Take your ass home, man. They never get, showed you what he was doing go, in that castle. Go get the flag. Go get on your mission. You know what I'm saying? Get what you can get and take what you need to take to get you to where you need to motherfucking go. Right. That and game, then don't that game have to go had a underground. Lot of ins and outs, bro. Come on, man. Sometimes you just got to jump in the car and not know where you're going. That's why they had them pipes. You just jump in one and be like, this the one and just chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> you just go down that bitch. Music change up everything. Next thing you know, you they done skipped you right over the haters. Now you in the middle of the board. Middle. Right. You just trying to get to the flag at the end. Come on, man. Come on. That game had deep meaning. What's the name of that weed? Jamario. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me. Jamario 64. Jamario. <laughs> Jamario 64. No, yeah. <laughs> I was like, these niggas here. Uh, That's what we do in the trap, man. We just being here, you know, creatively building the infrastructure. You know, oh, we to house our people, you know, we creatively. Gone. Nah, man, it's just amazing. Yeah. I, uh, and you been going in on the ass, man. Oh, no, nah, he got to, man. Yeah. I don't, Big I don't salute. let up on, I don't let up on anybody, man. I thought about it, and when I started, yeah. when I started thinking about doing it, I was like, nah, then you, I can't let success change who I am, because it's really the people who fuck with you who make you successful. Yeah. You change on them once the people you change it for don't fuck with you anymore, you ain't got nothing to fall back on. What? Hey, man, hey, hey, fuck that. Let the success change you. <laughs> you ain't, yeah, man, Jay-Z, you already said, man, you ain't worked this hard to stay the same. Nah, I ain't the same nigga nah, for sure. Nah. But I get it. I feel you. You saying you ain't gonna change the recipe? You ain't gonna change. You gonna the keep recipe. your integrity? You change the yeah. recipe. That's that's the, say that shit. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with having some goddamn integrity, grandson. <laughs> nah, man. It's integrity. <laughs> I don't know, man. You ever like think about wrong. you ever think about your uh your boy watching you? Who? Son. He do. That's what I'm saying. Is that it, it changes you think about that whenever you make decisions. You don't? 
It's not about that. I just know I ain't gonna do no weird ass shit. I'm gonna but have But that's to what explain. I'm saying. It's yeah. it's like with my kids, all Bro, that we, shit. The opportunity to do anything weird is out the window. That's what dude. I'm saying. Like, like, what, 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 we what? grown as fuck. If you out here doing some weird shit at this phase of the game, you wanted to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not about to sit here and act like these motherfuckers. I just discovered it. Right? Yeah. You didn't. Don't be thinking Hollywood lurking like, who gonna be with some weird shit today? Yeah. Nah, you gotta tell them folks no sometimes. Nah. I always say, and I hate the niggas. You ever had niggas ask you a question about some money, some doing some weird shit for some money? Uh-uh. Nah, not like, oh, not, oh. Like, <laughs> not like, not like in Hollywood. Right, 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 right. I'm talking about every day. No, not in Hollywood. No. <laughs> All right, let me let me rephrase, right? Because it be like, like they say shit like Hollywood always trying to get niggas to wear a dress, right? And then niggas are coming to me like, would you wear a dress for ten million dollars? And I'll be like, no. And then he was like, what about 15? I was like, nigga, why you want me to wear nigga, what a goddamn you dress to so bad? No. Nigga, what are you trying? And I was like, anybody will pay me 10 to wear that's a the dress, thing. they'll pay me four to just dress like me. But just, and I'm okay with four. But just think about this, man. I have this type of outlook on that type of shit. There are some motherfuckers who, who are ready as fuck to wear that dress. Right. And I'm not going to be the motherfucker who keep them from that opportunity. I used to be the nigga who complained about shit, man. You don't. They need shit like that. Everything, everything I ain't supposed to, to be normal, that. man. I re- but somebody, I will, somebody will get it. Somebody right. can do so, it. What's for you is for you. What's there meant was for a, you uh, is. That's what I'm saying. I was, I was, um, I don't know, man. I just care too much about shit sometimes. And uh, I remember it was this kid, Eastside Ivo. Shout out to him, man. Um, he, I was having issues with these niggas pretending to be women and doing sketches as women wearing wigs and like all that shit, right? But uh, that's the thing about but art, listen, it's subjective. Well, but that's what I'm saying. Shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. Ain't gonna change my day, nothing. Me, just hating. All right, so. You was hating. Ju- that's what I'm saying. You should've just said you was hating. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling the story for. <laughs> just hating. Just hating. Just hating. And, uh, <laughs> and then they, somebody interviewed him, right? He was like 20 years old at the time. And he was talking about how, you know, he was pretty much able to change his whole family fortune with what the, with the comedy he was creating on social media. And I was like, nigga, I'm sitting here trying to stop niggas from eating. No, nigga. no, I was no. like, well, you got to stop hating, nigga. No, Just let people do hating. what the you fuck saw. they want to do. If that's how they ain't going to feed, they say, as long as they ain't this hurt the nobody, thing, nigga. I, love the, I know how hard it is to to get that shit, to actually get to a level where you comfortable letting people see the type of shit that you, th- I can sit there and watch the, all that shit and just be entertained and not give a fuck what anybody else, what they do. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what it was. There was a, I think I was just really, just young in the comedy game. It was wanting to, I don't know. I, I was like a lot of people on social media where you try to control what you're seeing or have yeah. a have a say in what's going on. And it's it's weird. It, I've noticed it now in social media. People are going on your page and think they should have a say in how you live your life or a say. Yeah, yeah I was one of them weirdo niggas at one point. And uh, I was saying. That's Damn, crazy, man. Yeah. That's crazy you say it. Yeah. But you saying it. Yeah, at the top, like, that's what I'm saying. You I'm glad it. I've come out you of that. You can come up out of that I'm shit. I'm glad I've come out of that. I didn't know that was you. <laughs> that <laughs> shit. That's cold. Man, that shit that's hurt. cold. Was, man. And now you see why some of the shit be so cold. You was like, damn, this nigga really wrote some cold shit. Yeah, man. Nah, Who yeah. is the nigga behind? <laughs> I Clayton used to be English. one of these weirdo I hate him, man. One, six, I ain't know, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, right. Clayton English hate him, one, six, eight. Be there every day you block him, it's one, six, nine. Where the fuck like, is nigga, you How many pages you, you still make? a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I don't know. We live in an age where everybody on the internet feel they're very important. Everybody does. They'll tell you they unfollowing you. You could have just left. You could have just left. I just wanted to think they're picking the wrong time. Like, they'd be like, oh, this is it. I'm, I can't take this shit no more. Bro, out of all the shit. You know, but you know why? This is where you getting off at? I'm going to tell you when you can't take shit no more, when you just leave. If you can type, you can't take this shit no more, you still taking it. It's because right. you put that in still. You know, right. you know what? I'm done with watching this shit. No, that's not. 
That's not what a nigga that's done look like. A nigga that's done throws his phone. Man, I'm tired of this right. shit. Right. Never right. watching that again. Right. Man, not them. People can be. This very, has offended me, and I feel this. People can be very demanding on social media. So. <laughs> like they demand you respond to them. Yeah. How Over dare play. you? How dare you? Rito taught me how to block, so I got better. Oh you, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't no blocking nigga, but black. Like, Rito, that nigga taught me. He Press was like, black this is your space. Don't yeah. ever let nobody disturb your space. I don't let nothing rap. Yeah. Even, don't. Even yeah. if you just playing, if I don't like the way it reads. That nigga go it. live. Yeah. That nigga go live in the morning, smoking. Somebody be like, why are you smoking so early? Hold on, let me block this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't need that type of negativity in my life. Don't talk to me like that. Don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, they man, stop. Stop, people. My rule used Let to be block everybody it. who didn't have a real picture. You know what we yeah. doing? Yeah. Block yeah. everybody without a real hey, picture? Man, Tyler Fake Chronicles almost got blocked by a lot of us because this nigga would go, like, you post something, but he'll, he'll post in your comments, hey, if you need cartoons, I can draw cartoons for you. If you want a cartoon of yourself and write it in all kinds of different letters, like the spam niggas do, and I almost blocked them, and then I realized he had a blue check. I was like, "Hey, this nigga, this goddamn Tyler, hey, man. trolling." That's some wild shit. I be That's too high to do some that. shit like that. Nah, man. cause that they, they really want them cartoons. They really. Yeah. Who, why? How the fuck is everybody so? What do you just trace the picture of me, man? I, I don't know to, who did this. Are y'all making these little kids work hard at school to I, fit all these I cartoons on? I used to think orders? it was really spam and they ain't getting no business from doing that. But I would see all other people's faces. Oh, y'all really contacted the cartoon nigga to make a cartoon of you. I don't know who that is. That's the police. Yeah. <laughs> it's me, Ain't man. no way it's that many graphic designers. Yo, that's what I right. said. Logos, party flyers, banners, yeah. portraits. So nah. what do you want on the picture? You want I a block all the niggas now. Every last one. I block every last one. Oh, cocaine one. bag. And motherfucking Bill Worski. He just won the lottery in New Jersey. <laughs> And he looking to get his money That's to some new niggas, one. apparently. That's the new one. It's like, uh, a I just won the lottery. Who needs COVID relief? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, girl, the little baby. white bitches. Oh, tell me I'm not the hottest chick on the internet. Girl, if you don't get your little <laughs> thin ass out of here. Man. Yeah. Anyone interested? PM no. me. I trip you. No. Man, I just don't. It's, it's a Sunday, weird man. place, man. I think. Uh, it's because that shit not real. This is what I was about to say. You're the only other person I heard say that. I say the internet is not a real place. Social media it's is not, not a real bro, place. That shit is it's an avatar. It's, it's, mostly, just like, it's mostly imagination. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's a whole lot of imagination. Y'all remember right? the game Sims? Sims, yeah. The, yeah that's uh, all call? this shit really is, bro. You create this person or whatever you want to be, and you live in this world as this person. I just learned how to play the game. I detach myself from it completely. But it really trips me out to see people who believe this shit is real. And I'm like, man, that shit is crazy, yo. What do you do in your real life? But I've, I've been around people who never detach from it. They like, I, oh, this, I'll give you a perfect example. I unfollowed everybody on my page one day. And I followed everybody again on a personal page. I just How wanted to be- How the fuck unfollow everybody? You, you just unfollow all? Nah, I wish there was one like that. You just went through and was like, bro, what the hell you be going through? Oh, man, I'm a weird ass nigga, bro. Oh. So, uh, yeah, yeah, nah, I don't. I remember uh, Clayton uh, Thomas was like, you gotta be a weird nigga to delete all your posts, because they don't have delete all, and you got, you, or to delete everybody you following, nigga. You kind of, who got that kind of time on their hand to do some weird shit like that? And I was like, hey, nigga, me. This is the type of shit you be doing on mushrooms, ain't it? Nah, mushrooms, this like, was, mushrooms would stop me from doing that. Oh, man, you should Mushrooms would go, you ain't really about to sit here and unfollow everything. I thought about doing that shit, yeah. I see it now. <laughs> now. So, I didn't follow that many people to begin with, though. It didn't take that long. But my thing was, I was following people on my personal page. And as people were hitting me up, it was like, yo, why'd you unfollow me? I was like, nah, I do follow you. I follow all your stuff, I like, comment, and all that shit. They were like, nah, from your page with the blue check. I was like, but it's me. I'm the person liking and commenting your shit. They're like, man, if it ain't from that page, it don't count. <clears throat> like, oh, it ain't even about me as a person. You want the page oh, I created to follow you. Oh, you thought the people were your friends. 
Yeah. And I, it was like, oh, you care more about what a page with a blue check on than me actually being the person Come on, man. to like and comment on your shit. That's why I was like, oh, these people live in this world. Right at this phase of the game, I'm I'm convinced damn near 98% of this shit is fake. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck these people be talking about or doing. And I don't know. Everybody fake until you prove me otherwise. Oh, nigga. Hey, I, man, I believe that shit from afar. And I, 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 if it ain't what it is, we gonna find out. It's gonna come out. I've always think it's some weirdo surface. niggas sending messages like, let me find a picture of a pussy. Watch, I told you, look at this freak ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga really think this is a bitch. Watch this, send another one. Now, here's them ain't the same that. titties, hold on, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> He ain't even noticed them ain't the same. Right, whatever. And it was, nah, catfish put me on to that. When it was niggas, it was dudes catfishing other dudes. Yeah. With women. I was like, nigga, you was going around looking for pictures of women that can entice another nigga and then was talking to that nigga as a woman? Yeah. This is the thing but about you it. straight? A lot I was of- like, nigga, somebody please explain <laughs> right. that to me. So the nigga's like, so you on the, you you messaging a nigga, you gonna play with your dick? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna play with my dick. I got him, look, he believe me. But like, nigga, that's not, who does that? And they do this shit for months. For months? Man. Oh. This shit is weird. Not wow. even for money, though. No, no, no financial gain, no nah. money. This different. nigga carved out time in his Mom day from overseas to talk to another to nigga nasty on the money, phone. Nigga. Want. Look at this freaky ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got him right where I want. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my voice right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is Candy LaPel. <laughs> you ever <laughs> thought you talked to his name Candy LaPel? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You stupid motherfucker. Niggas fall for anything, no. bro. Uh, that's a lot of dudes, though, man. If you ain't getting no pussy, you fall for anything. But shit, that's when you really fall for anything when you're getting some pussy. Yeah, yeah don't focus on the pussy. Ass shit. <laughs> don't oh, you chase seen it. the niggas with the not my baby syndrome? That's what you was <laughs> talking uh-uh. about. Oh, I call it not my baby syndrome. Niggas be getting cheated on and everything. He be like, man, that girl. This the Plain, thing about it. Not my baby. My baby wouldn't dare be out here doing it. All right. Shit. <laughs> I thought you meant niggas who'd be like, that ain't my baby. Nah, niggas. Yeah, that's what I mean. Nah, <laughs> niggas that uh, girl be out here wilding and they just walk, read none of the signs. They got, I call that shit not my baby syndrome. Not my baby. Nah, she at home reading books. <laughs> like, nigga, y'all don't have shit. any books in the house. She can't read. She can't read. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Hey man. I don't have I don't put nothing past nobody, man, for the most part. No, you shouldn't. Yeah. Cause okay. you don't never know. Sometimes people I've seen people do a lot of desperate ass shit over the time. Yeah. Desperation kick in. That's a far, nigga. Desperation movies. Yeah. Sometimes they be kinda good though. On a cult classic type shit, but he had he talking about a movie. No, I'm saying <laughs> what niggas do in desperation. No, Desperado. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga didn't want to do that movie. Yeah, nigga. I yo, that's I thought that's what you were saying. Yeah. Niggas get to the end of their career and be like, I gotta do something. Something, <laughs> man. Those be the best movies. This sometimes. one's gonna bring you back. Which I got, this one's gonna got bring you back. Expendables, <laughs> and then he can remake. <laughs> Make them till you die. Okay, okay, right. okay, I got a movie idea. A bunch of old Go guys right. in the jungle fighting some uh, young drug cartels. Yeah. And beating them. They got great aim. It's Stallone, uh, Nigga. I got, I got Sting. Schwarzenegger. G.I. Joe's gonna be in there. Yeah. Cobra Commander. Man, Sylvester Stallone uh, is like Debo. 87 years old, man. <laughs> Fuck it, uh, we got Blade. <laughs> uh, Black Panther. We got all the blacks. All, all the, the blacks. blacks. All the blacks. All the blacks. Black Adam. Meet the blacks. Mike, everybody. Michael Blackson. Black. Everybody's in there. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know Sylvester Stallone fan base was like what it was. What you mean? This nigga is like 87 years old, and they came out with a Rambo, right? Right. Man. Yeah, and I was like, this is the most unrealistic shit yeah, ever. Yeah, he should just be in the retirement home refusing to take pills. I was like, a Rambo He should movie. be watching the war. Like, that ain't how you do it. John yeah. Rambo, <laughs> he won't take his dementia medicine. He's, and, <laughs> he's gone AWOL. Where is he? In the vents. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck. So, 
I was saying that and niggas was like, he'll kick your ass. He in better shape what than that, you. What I was like, oh, y'all are mad that I said an 87 year old nigga can't take down a drug cartel by himself. Listen, man. Oh, I'm fucking crazy. His his skin, they think these cool. movies are real. His niggas. skin is saggy. Nigga. That man is tired. <laughs> Yo. His For they real, under his, the bags under up, his bro. eyes literally come to the middle of they his They probably face. had him propped don't, up. Dog. Don't fight him one on one. Put a stick in his back. Man, <laughs> Just apologize man. to him and wait for him to turn around and jump on his back and break him in half. <laughs> Fuck it. People say that shit like that too. Whenever, I bet you, like if I have, uh, if I criticize a fighter, they can beat your ass. I'm not a fighter, nigga. What the fuck? Amen. He should be able to beat other fighters, nigga. That's the problem. <laughs> you didn't train for that. Exactly. Right. Exactly. He's he supposed no to. Fight. Yeah, don't let right. nobody intimidate you. <laughs> fuck them people. No, that's just funny to me. He'll <laughs> kick your ass. He should. He's been training for years. He nigga. should be able to beat me easily. <laughs> yeah, man. The trick is ignoring all that shit. <laughs> but you have to be in really a peaceful mode to ignore a lot of shit. I won't respond to the peasants anymore. No, I'm moving to Patreon. No. <laughs> the Patreons, the peasants, none of them. I'll talk now. I'll talk to my niggas on Patreon. Yeah, man, you gotta be, you gotta have the mindset of a rapper, man. You just say your shit and get the fuck on. Yeah, yeah man, I said what I said. Talking, my name is my name. My name is my name. Come on, man. Yeah. I don't know. Comedy gonna be changing anyway in a minute. We're gonna you think have, so? Hell yeah. It's changed. Nah, man. As soon as everybody change, about so, to change again. It's changed. As soon as everybody get Watch. these vaccinations, shit will go right back to where it was. Well, that's what they not and telling the, you. As soon the, as everybody get the vaccination, one of the side effects is you ain't gonna be able to laugh at shit else. Just gonna be a bunch of motherfuckers sitting there like, how we used to do this? Oh, they gonna have to put a disclaimer that's on it. Suck. We ain't even, you ain't that even be. gonna know you can't laugh until you good in there and be like, uh, <laughs> 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 What happened to my sense of humor? <laughs> it's gone. It's hey, gone. That's cold. And that's how they gonna know who ain't Damn. got vaccinated. Fuck that, man. We gotta be a nigga, one creative, nigga in the man. corner laughing hard as fuck. That's They'll be like, he ain't cold. been vaccinated. He lied. Oh, he lied about me. No. Everybody has opened a comedy club. No. I'm gonna change the game, nigga. I'm opening up a sarcasm club. Oh my God, nigga. This is gonna be a nigga. They don't come laugh out. no oh, more. Oh, you thought it was a show. Huh? <laughs> you was ready to see one. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all had your little clothes on and everything. <laughs> they don't laugh no more. No. This is sarcasm, Mr. New. All human. they do is this. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh. Just know the game about to change one more time, though. I'm you can't them, choose whatever it is, what to give up. Fuck. You give up music or laughter? I music this, or which one? I think comedy will die if uh, it's on the way to dying if TikTok take over. No, it ain't. Bro, because TikTok funny as fuck. It ain't even the yeah, whole song. It is. It's going to make motherfuckers <laughs> have to actually put in effort. It ain't going to nah, be no. Nah, TikTok is hilarious. That shit hilarious. And if your TikTok is hilarious, I'll do it. And they'll still say it's hilarious, and then you can do it. I'm not going to do it. And they'll still say, I said you can. Yeah. I know you're not. Mm, I'm just that, saying. Yeah, exactly. And this is the funny part. You'll make it up. I'll do it. Then he'll do it. He'll get credit for it. And we won't never get no followers behind it. All the creative shit you come up with, somebody else will do, and then they'll be like, "That person is the funniest motherfucker alive." They can just take. Well, he gonna be white. They'll just take your. But he gonna be white. They'll just take your voice. Redo it in your whole voice and everything. They ain't even good. <laughs> Doing voiceovers of you. Doing. Right, I didn't like we don't so even many, know all songs. Like so many videos of my voice and other people saying shit. Man, TikTok. Uh, that's why I won't do it. Fuck that. Nope. I got a TikTok page. Ain't shit on it though. I just be watching shit. Whatever. And I might be better. I play. I uh got on TikTok for like two days to put videos on there and didn't nobody look at them. But that may have that may not have nothing. Got a lot of personal shit. Going on. <laughs> what you was doing on there though? I'm what, not playing, bro. What you was doing? I ain't though? never. I ain't never not. You ain't do them little playing. dances. Don't do them little dances, do dog. Little, Come on. I ain't man. never done a challenge oh, or anything good, from the bro. internet. Please. It's just Stay for real. me. Yeah, Stay for down me, with us. Yeah, it's. I get on there to. To do my shit, I don't. Yeah, man, everything I mean. ain't for everybody. Nah. But challenge, what challenge? Yeah. That shit. They'll come up with any challenge, and I'm just like, oh, I'm cool. Me too. Good. I'm cool on that. 
that requires actually putting in effort to give a fuck. And I'm just, I'm high. I'd be so supportive. Just, I'm gonna do y'all thing. I think the last time, you know, I learned something that somebody else, man, it was probably the wobble, nigga. And then after that, I was done. That's your last group. That was my last, that was my last learning something somebody else made up. You had fun doing it, though, man. Yeah, I did. I missed the wobble a little bit. I ain't did the wobble since the coronavirus. <laughs> since the quarantine. Get in there. I ain't did the wobble, dog. I missed the wobble a little bit. I was in court you know with that nigga saying? one time. Who? Vic. Uh, <laughs> but your big girl, bag it up. <laughs> uh, just bag it up. So, bro, okay. Yeah. But you had fun doing it. Man. Yeah. yeah. You just be careful on that internet, man. Oh, no. Nah, I'm, I'm, man, I've t- like I said, I've already unplugged, bro. You unplugged. It's over. But don't, what if it's a sad I still, from now, it's a marketing tool. You can't play though, Ryan. It's you can't a marketing just go tool. to the part where they're going to say the shit you like now. Nah. Mm. Nah, nah. Marketing tool, man. Yeah. Is what it is. They now. still going to talk shit, even if that nigga going to pay to talk shit. Yeah. Put I'm with it. Still I'm a bitch, nigga yeah. thought I wasn't coming. Hey, <laughs> hey, if you willing to pay me to call me a bitch ass nigga, hey man, you earned that the opportunity. Be, that's the rule. You should be, you have to pay to talk shit to people. Yeah, you gotta pay to talk shit. Especially man. professionals. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry. Man, this is, I think people take for granted what social media allowed. They fucked up with us. They think it's going to be like and one where you're going to come score on me and now you're in the game. Yeah. No. <laughs> like, that's not how it no. works. Nobody likes you. I've seen that I was shit like, this is, what, this is what they don't realize. Us growing up, right, it was beyond our wildest dreams to be able to talk to somebody that we were fans of. Man. Now these know. motherfuckers feel like they entitled to, uh, to our attention or entitled can you to us talking to them. I don't have to up speak to and you. Your Instagram I don't even have to crazy. turn my comment section on. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine waking up and your Instagram going crazy because Michael Jackson left LOL under your comment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker, you <laughs> your, your page jumping. You went to sleep with 8,000 followers, woke up with 22 million. Because <laughs> Mike said LOL over some goofy shit you said you ain't remember what it was. Man, I've seen that happen with, like, if Snoop reposts you, you on now. Uh-uh, Snoop ain't even going to tag you. Nope, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's not even going to tag saying you. niggas at the bottom of the comment, appreciate it, um, you couldn't tag me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga responding to every comment. Yeah, yeah. my real page. Yeah. yeah. Man, Courtney underscore Brewski <laughs> underscore 9906. Snoop said, I, f- I don't know how, I barely work in this phone. Let's she go. Send that bitch. Nigga, Snoop be on the gram so much, it got to be three or four of them. Yo, I see the shit, though. I see niggas watermark they shit, and a nigga mark out they watermark, and then repost they shit. I was like, oh, you That's just going crazy. the extra mile not to give this wow. nigga the credit, nigga. They, they cut the nigga name off the fo- off the off the video or the meme. I was like, boy, it's a cold game. Out it here. is a cold game. I appreciate all the fans that take the time to. Man, it was one nigga watermark my and find video. their favorite clips. Nigga watermark my video. I was like, hey, my face is Man, on the video. It's a nigga that- this the watermark. You, he, people were believing it, that I was him. This nigga got more followers than I did posting my shit. It's a nigga that reposts all the clips from the 85 South page and put his Instagram name on it. You ain't had shit to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> a nigga named DeLorean used to do that with Country Way. They thought Country You just gonna Wayne, say the nigga name? Of what? course, because Country Way checked that nigga and said his name, so it's uh, out there already. I, you knew him? Huh? I ain't you, never met DeLorean. Oh, uh, you said a couple. That's not a person I would want to meet. Yeah, this nigga was just posting, 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 posting Wayne shit. And Wayne, you, and Country is so funny because people forget he's really just a street nigga. They see the, uh huh. They see the funny shit and him not cussing and being the clean comic. Man, when that nigga was, when you try to take some food out of his mouth, you see who he is for real. Yeah, nigga don't never. Like, <laughs> don't never like, hey, try nobody Lord, like boy, that. I'm gonna find out who you are. You gonna keep playing my, keep playing my motherfucking video. <laughs> 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 I told you, I told you one time before. I ain't telling you no more. 
I was like, this is different from his other videos. Yeah, this real. <laughs> man, man. And the crazy part is that video did numbers too. Yeah. Right. Hey, man, the angry nigga sketch you did. I like that shit. Yeah, the angry nigga sketch. No, it's really about to hit him. Hey, you need to do some more of them going off videos. <laughs> man had his fist balled up like a biscuit. <laughs> Thank you. That you stay off my pee. That boy crazy. <laughs> my last time. Nah, man. That shit's crazy, uh, man. I'm just glad. I'm glad that I figured out what I wanted to do in in that space now. And that place that place can drive you crazy, man. It can. Cause I see people attaching their self esteem to that shit. Literally. Self worth. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Right. Self worth to it. They you can set your they'll price. post some shit and if it don't get enough likes or enough comments or whatever, they'll take it off. Yeah, we need that. You but really people, felt that way. Why would you A lot of people feel like they need validation. Yeah. I don't know why. You know. But whatever. I'll the only time I delete stuff is cause if it's going crazy, motherfuckers keep commenting over. I'm like, I don't want to see what people gotta say about this all goddamn day. I delete it. Or I'll cut the comments off. I ain't gonna read it. I'll just let them say whatever the fuck they gonna say and move on to the next Nah, one. the reason I read it is because sometimes, I don't read all of them. I used to read a lot. T Springs was, uh, he helped me out, my, my homeboy. He he just put shit in perspective for me all the time. Like, so we was at a barbershop and there was this dude, he was slow, you know what I mean? And he was uh, typing, he was like, what you doing? Uh, T was like, what you doing? He was like, oh, commenting on something on Instagram. He said, Ryan, that's who you probably argue with half the time. And I was like, yeah, I got to stop arguing with these niggas on social media, yo. I can't be that. Start nigga. agreeing with them. That might work. You right. Yep. You, you right as fuck. You right. Damn. I should have thought about that. I should have. I knew you was going to say some shit just like that when I posted this shit. I'm going to tell, tell y'all you. really how, if you want, this is the best way to deal with it. Somebody say some fucked up shit about you on Instagram, pin the comment. Bruh. And then it's everybody gonna be, who likes it, block them too. It's going to be That's 30. How, you, know, you, you can kill a lot of people at one time. Yeah, we're going to, it's going to be 31 <laughs> dislikes on this bitch before it finish uploading. Yeah. It's just built in hate. Yeah. But you know what? All, my boy Austin, that I don't even look at the dislikes or nothing like that. Austin was like, nigga, have you ever seen a video without a dislike on it? I was like, damn, that's yeah, true. It ain't, it ain't shit out there that don't get no dislike. Everybody. Man, they, they, they just dislike. Out here they dislike every day. Like, yeah. Man, I got to let them know I don't like this shit. Mm -mm. That blows I, my I, mind. I hate this shit so much, I got to type it in. That's Let me see if motherfuckers like video. this shit. That's I how bad like motherfuckers are hitting that bitch. Watch the whole video so whole I know. <laughs> exactly. Look at 426. This the part I hate. <laughs> right, here, right here, right here, right here. 426 to 1737. <laughs> Bullshit. Still here. They still dropping this shit every week. I blocked them whole ass niggas. I can say shit, but they can't. Uh. What if it's all just the CIA like, oh, we got him now. <laughs> he responded to the bitch ass nigga comment. We got action, <laughs> folks. We he got bit, access to his page bit. now. Yep. The shark has took the bait. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, hey, and people it's have a page jam. on private like, nobody can see this but me. Like, and then people behind the screen be like, nobody can see it but us. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, these hackers are good too, man. Y'all watch yourself. Bro, I got hacked. I got hacked too. Yeah. I, and I almost got a second time. This this motherfucker was good. He, he uh, messaged me on Instagram. It was a link, so don't ever click no link ever. So, but he clicked the link and it was like, you have just been signed out. And then it was like, sign back in. And it was the Instagram page, right? The Instagram sign in. A motherfucker recreated that just so you could type it in and he yeah. didn't have it. Mm -hmm. I got Fish halfway chip. into typing it in and was like, nah, and then y'all started hitting back and sure enough, my page popped back up. I was like, that nigga almost got me. That was good. That was good. These motherfuckers is really good. Man, them yeah, niggas man, hacked. what you was trying to them do? Them niggas hacked my Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, everything. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I got my Facebook hacked 
and it was automatically linked to all the other ones. Man, that nigga was having a ball. Changed all that shit. He changed that. He changed Bro, when the I got language. my shit back, that you know how had... hard it was to switch that shit yeah. back. Yeah. He changed the language on my shit. Man, I was sitting here like, oh my. I was just in the mall, like, you know what? What he put it on? <laughs> you know what this say? Like? What he put it on? Uh, it was Arabic. Man, that nigga was so it's sending. just symbols Boy. to me. It ain't even letters. That's he why was I'm trying to sell pages. Off like the motherfuckers shit. at the mall, they be like, "Hey, you want to try the lotion?" I was like, "Can you read this?" I will buy two bottles of lotion if you tell me what this is. <laughs> they was trying to sell <laughs> hacked pages off my page. They yeah. was responding to everybody. They oh, like, they hacked pages and then uh, delete everything off of it and like, who want to buy a verified page? Yeah. It's a motherfucker get on my shit and then he go to all the females and be like, hello, I'm contacting you from a different page because I can't contact you from the main page. But the thing is, the every ink. girl he talked to is one of my cousins. Right. I'm like, you big stupid motherfucker. <laughs> like, they're like, man, somebody, you, you trying to fuck again, cuz. Oh, I'm man. like, no, I'm that, that same shit be happening. They be creating all these fake ass pages. Nigga gonna send my auntie a message. She cussing them out for three days. I was like, just let it go. <laughs> Oh my yeah, gosh, the right. The comedian David Lucas, right? This nigga had me hollering. I wouldn't have believed it if he ain't screenshot it. Nigga, somebody pretended to be the rapper of the baby. He was like, nigga, I'm stuck in Atlanta. I, I need 10 grand, bro. Help a nigga out. And it was like, the name of the page was The Baby's Real Page. And I was just like, yo, ain't no way. They believe niggas is falling for this. Yes. Nigga, the baby's real page. Oh, for man. real, though. For real, though. Not the baby's real? real page, for real, though. I swear to God. I swear to God, this is my page. <laughs> oh, I done got 17 <laughs> fake pages from the real Carlos Miller. Oh, yeah, nigga. It's Clayton English 1 through 37. I get so mad at my fans when they fall for Boy, that crazy. shit. crazy. I'll get DMs and like, man, you still ain't sent me my prize. I was like, what? <laughs> I ain't giving out no goddamn prize. You said I won a heater. You said I won the prize. <laughs> hey, Lose, you, need to pr you need to prove that this you, because I got a fake page hitting me up. Like, why would you hit me on my real page to tell me about the fake page? <laughs> like, I'm about to verify the fake page. No, that was me. I was trying to get with you, lady who work at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> is this you? Yo. That's what I hit you. Is this it you? It blows my mind. And then, this is the thing. They're like, oh, you, ain't right. give me no, you ain't give me my prize. I was like, I didn't say nothing to you about my prize. And then they'll screenshot and send it to me. My name's spelled wrong. I'm like, you think I don't know how to spell my goddamn name? That ain't me. Man, Why would I spell be, Ryan with three Y's? People send Stop. it to you like you about to go ride on them. Hey, man, it's a fake page out here. Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I Let do. me get my nah. keyboard. Nah, I do what? be saying it like I be sick of niggas all day. Like, hey, you got fake pages out here. I'm like, report them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> them you niggas, bitches though. think and it's a game. And then it's sweet. And they have screenshot it and send it to me. Yeah, report it. They ass. So you're like, my nigga. That's how you do it. Ride on these. Got niggas. their ass up out of here. <laughs> got their ass up out we'll of here. We'll air shit out about you. <laughs> hey, hey, I just got access to what his webcam, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I you did. got 24 hours to delete the fake page of me. <laughs> Should I, I tell his wife about his affair? <laughs> Oh, check your bank account, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get me a hacker on my team if they can do it that. Oh, man. Yo. <laughs> Chauncey, is it? <laughs> Lives at 1306 Post. Oh, I'm going to tell you another Lincoln, thing. Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> The niggas with the fake page sometimes don't even go back and delete all they old photos. How's your cat, So you Mr. can Buck? go to photos. <laughs> you can go to photos and scroll back and see the nigga who's pretending to yeah. be you. They ain't even smart enough old to delete shit. all they old shit. Oh. What did Catherine cook today? <laughs> oh, it looks like the school bus is late. <laughs> How do you know about that? Have a nice day at Lake, Lakeland up. Elementary. You're a substitute teacher, right, Stan? <laughs> Jesus. That's scary. That's, That's scary. the movie That's shit, though. Yeah, but they zoom in on your shit from the satellite. Nice truck outside. Be ashamed if something happened to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need a nigga like that on my team. Man, we saying. all do. Shit. I, I've always wanted to uh, start 
like if somebody, if I could just find anybody that's like that, I'd start a TV show with niggas who troll. We actually find them motherfuckers and they have to fight the motherfucker who they've been trolling. <laughs> You're like, nah, they come out their house. They're like, what are y'all doing out here? Nah, square up, nigga. Ain't you the nigga who put this on my page? Who said it? Yeah. I always think of niggas who be trolling and living in like a crack house. Oh, of course. And then they just don't give a fuck. Even if you went there to fight, they still, and so what? Even if you win, you're still a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's no win. No, There's no way. Man, that'll take all the fun out of his no ass, too. You come in here to fight me, just prove my point. <laughs> and don't let the bad boy go. Look at <laughs> you are the company that you keep. You and say look I'm, like you're around. You say I'm a loser. Only a loser would track down a stranger. Come on, man. <laughs> you beat him up and shit. <laughs> then get to the end. He pull a whole crackhead move. You gonna kill me? <laughs> Go on and kill me then, man. <laughs> you might as well kill me. <laughs> you might as well you might as well kill me. I ain't got nothing else left. I ain't got nothing else left. Get your stupid ass up, man. <laughs> Get up. Get up. I can't. Get the fuck up. Motherfuckers wear good. I ain't hating days. <laughs> no shampoo or nothing in here. I don't say, I don't say motherfuckers wear getting blocked like a badge of honor. <laughs> hey, like I'm blocked by how many celebrities you blocked by? I'm blocked by seven. You blocked by seven? No, people say that shit like as a badge of honor. But you blocked by some. And my boy, oh yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Joe Budden blocked me years where? ago on Twitter. Did you deserve it? Did I? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That wasn't, yeah. You I earned was that shit. I earned that. Uh, I'm blocked by so many people. Amanda Seals blocked me. Um. I think that's the only two that I know of, man. Happily blocked by, by the way. Wasn't going to look at their content, no way. But it was just, it was, Joe, Joe definitely should have blocked me. Yeah. I was wilding. Well. He was dating, like, a young girl. Uh, I think her name was, like, Kaylin Garcia. This, that tells you how long ago this was. Yeah. And uh, I think she was, like, 19 or some shit. And he was like, yeah, got to wake up early, get the day started well. I was like, you walk, you walk your girl to the bus stop? He was like, I'm going to block this nigga. And I was like, that makes sense. That makes sense. I shouldn't have been that negative at 7 o'clock in the morning. Should have blocked me. So Why I are you up it. watching Joe Budden at 7? No, nah, I was on Twitter at 7 o'clock in the morning. And it was the first thing I saw was like, yeah, waking up, starting the day. I was like, oh, shit, you walk your girl to the bus stop? He was like, get this nigga out of here. I was like, yeah, I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't. Mm. The troll days was, was something else, though. I, tr I was trolling years before it was you, like a thing. Yeah, you was one before of them, it was a them. thing. Niggas wasn't. This is when trolling. I didn't, and I didn't hide behind no fake account, nigga. It was my face. Like, you knew who was saying this to you. Like, yeah, it wasn't, I ain't had no alias. And you none just of did that. this shit for fun. I literally. Or you really was, thought your opinions was. No, uh, no. I was like, uh, I was just some miserable nigga. That's all. This is a miserable ass nigga with nothing better to do. I was in I was in rural North Carolina, nigga. It wasn't nothing to do. What were you like high school though? What was the yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like Okay. Yeah. I was that's yeah. what I'm saying. I was young and nigga I ain't had no nothing going on with my life. Full of energy. Yeah, nowhere to nowhere productive to put it. So you just was on the internet calling people bitches. Digital graffiti. I did do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God I used to it. say I used to say some dumb shit, yo, know, with niggas all the time. I, I realized though that I had to uh, get my shit together. When? Uh, Cause uh, I did a. Uh, I'm hosting like this game show for like BET, and uh, they were like, "You got anything on the internet that we should worry about?" I was like, "Nah, I'm good." And they're like, "So we'll do like a, a check or whatever." Man, they sent me a packet like that fucking thing. <laughs> of shit that was questionable that I've said over the years. I was like, boy, I got to burn all my accounts then, nigga, because... And I was reading them, and I was like, oh, I said that? 
Oh, and then the, the artist in you was like, I'm keeping it. Yo, that. some of them was like, I was a funny ass nigga, though, for real. Yeah. Oh, Y'all want to do my shit like that, man? Please. Come on, give me my shit. Yo, nigga. I want mine right now. Yeah. CIA, FBI, give me my packet. Nigga, the packet. Was you send me so my packet. Thick. What if you fuck around and packet. read one that's the one? And you'd be like, you know what? Never send mind. Me my I'm packet. good. This shit right here. Yo, it was so. Hey, y'all got any money? <laughs> it was so. Hey, can I get the other ones? <laughs> yeah, I deleted my Twitter. There wasn't even no point in going back. It was so much on the Twitter that there was no point in going back and looking, trying to delete each one of them. Fuck I was it. like, nah, I gotta burn this. Damn. You was out there rowdy. I was wildin', bro. I was wild. I had no business saying any of that shit, bro. None of it. You was cussing out people. You ain't even know. You ain't even know nothing about them like that. Wildin'. You ain't even know nothing about them like that. Didn't know nothing about them. <laughs> I, was saying, I was saying wild <laughs> Boy. shit. I was saying wild shit. And I don't care if any of that stuff come out. Uh, I'm not that nigga anymore. I'm not one to go back. I'm not apologizing for some shit I said 12 years well, I'm ago. I'm just glad you grew up to be a better person. Yeah, yeah. standard nah. citizen. Yeah, got to, man. If you ain't getting better, man, I just I worry about, not like real worry, like I ain't gonna go home and be like, I wonder what's happening. Nah, man, what are they thinking of? Yeah, but I just, I, I just, man. I worry about people who can't, grow pad like people who stay the same for a very long time yeah i worry about niggas them. like me yeah but they stay the same for a very long time you know what i'm doing after this that's if you solid I'm going for a long to put time some on and eat i wasn't some solid potatoes man. come on man <laughs> crocs on. you ever you ever wear crocs yeah i'm some comfortable ass shoes bro I wear I my nephew no crocs. made me get some I'm about to get like. I ain't got like, no crocs. Uncle Carlos, you can put them in sport mode, four by four. I like <laughs> sport mode. Sport mode, four by four. Sport mode. <laughs> sport <laughs> mode. That's with the the strap that's, up. That's the strap up. Uh, four by four is when you put the strap back. Oh, oh okay. we mudding. <laughs> we we flopping today. He's so loyal to him. <laughs> so goddamn country, Crocs. man. He's so loyal to him, bro. Crocs. That's what happened. Nigga, Crocs really right there. He said put the strap on like it was like sneakers with the pump on it. Yeah. Like, it, oh, it's different when you hit the, you pump it a few Come times, on, it's a new shoe. Yeah. So you yeah. We the believed strap in the sneaker technology. Shoe, okay. We did. Yeah. We I really wish I was shit. still at that phase of life, though. Yeah. Or believing new shoes made me run faster and shit. Hey, can Fuck. I, do you feel like you lost your imagination? Uh-uh. No, no, I'm no. My imagination my going imagination. crazy. The more shit I learn, the more imaginative my yeah. shit is. Yeah. I, um, but, I let I let this world take mine for a long time. Don't yeah. ever do that. No, no, no. It was before comedy. Yeah. It wasn't until when I got into comedy, I was like, oh, shit. Like, it was, this shit is fun. This is the, this is the shit I love. To, we love to create and yeah. things like that. I think they uh, push us into adulthood in, in a way that that says, oh no, you not, to be mature is to not imagine, is to not dream yeah, and shit like that. to be stuck in the reality we're telling you that's real. Yeah, that we're telling you is real. Yeah. And yeah, don't never get lost in the audience. That's what I was saying about the whole comments and shit. Yeah. People, the I motherfuckers on the other side, they ain't gonna never get everything that, that you giving them. Because that's, that's never. It's all in about how a motherfucker interpret what you're trying to do. Oh, if they want to be offended, they're going to take it to be offensive. They find a way. Yeah. Oh, nigga. I they just they waiting video. to be offended. I just did a video where I was like, hey, black people got to stop inviting everybody to the cookout. Yeah. For the real. If they really fuck with you, bring them back a plate. Stop right. saying that. Yo, and Here, somebody was real. like, this one white dude was like, so you saying no white person can come to the cookout? I was like, you mad? It's not even a real place. I've never been to the cookout, you dumb motherfucker. It's not a real place. So the you next mad. time you niggas cook, yeah. I'm pulling up so and I don't you, give a fuck. I'm you, gonna eat a rib, yeah. but it makes I'm gonna make my own turkey burgers. Where do these fucking people come from? Because I'm sure even before Where? that point, it was something that he could have jumped in and had an opinion that strong about. But yeah. now it's like, you're not coming to the hypothetical shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this nigga is trying to keep me out of his imagination. 
And he hungry as fuck in his imagination. So yeah. I don't get any collard greens, huh? No macaroni and cheese. <laughs> but so how do they even find this shit? You can uh, get weird, on Instagram bro. and find a bunch of white people opinions that you don't agree with. Right. Yeah. I, exactly. I don't even know it's where to find it. It's not coming up on your fucking It's not coming page. through my feed. Ain't nothing on there but strippers and pit yeah. bulls and shit. So I was like, I was trying to tell you. Give me dude, some motherfuckers to disagree with. <laughs> I was trying to tell the dude, I was like, yo, that's like if white people were like, hey, Ryan, we fuck with you, but you can't come to Narnia. I'd be like, nigga, it's not a real place. And I can just watch the movie. Do it's white people even... come up on your explore page? The white people? I, uh, Gary Owen. That don't, don't, no white okay. people, don't no white people come up on my explore uh, page. It's rare. Yeah. Just, just the ones I know. It's what not even on my explore. Oh, yeah, explore. If, if it's a white dude who pops up on my explore, he either fights MMA, uh, boxer, he plays in the NBA. Fuck that. If a white dude, <laughs> he's doing some adventurous. Any yeah, of my social he's media. Athlete. He in love with a black woman. I'm like, who is sending me this goofy <laughs> shit? <laughs> See? You get a bunch of chat hands this is my your wife. shit. And these are our kids. Oh, and this is our house. And this is where we live. <laughs> and this is our dog. <laughs> this is our cat. I'm still white. She's, She's still black. Oh, we hate you. Fuck this shit. Yo, Stop making I videos. I get how he, like, I get it. I forget that I'm on the show. Everybody. I be entertained by this <laughs> nigga from like two feet away. Man. I feel like I'm watching the show. I'm a fan of y'all niggas, and I'm just be sitting there like, man, this shit is happening right in front of me. Man. I'm like, oh, you on the show too, nigga? Okay. <laughs> I be seeing so much goofy ass shit on my explore pages. I just, I don't even explore no more. Yeah. No, I don't go. I'm, the only time I see shit in the explore page is now they put it in the search, right? Man. So as soon as that you algorithm. hit, so as you hit search, that you gotta, they make you have to scroll past all the goddamn videos. And shit on your ass, yeah. But I try not to hit that shit in explore, man. No. And I, I don't follow uh, any like Instagram models or any, like nope or any twerkers I mean, or anything fucking, like that. I'm, and, and if you do one time, your explore page will. Fill up with it. That's why I was like, nah, ain't Fuck no that. way. Just follow the OnlyFans women. They get straight to the point. <laughs> Nigga. You might look up on your timeline. Pussy on sale right now. Yeah. Three dollars. Yeah. Here go the home. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it sounds like a joke. Ooh. HD, but, she got a new camera. That's exactly what it's like. You can almost smell the juices. Oh, oh my God. goodness. <laughs> Look at this titty. Subscribe. The next 30 minutes is free. These videos you know, ain't short either. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. They oh, over this half of it. Yeah. Yeah. They couldn't. Straight, they couldn't the middle man. Straight, straight out. To it. Fuck these bikini straight to it. Yeah. It's whole cooch out naked. Of it. That and that boy, that'll make you it is so messed up because that's the shit that'll make you mad at a girl who's trying to show you a titty. You talking but, about. But her page is like $30 a month. No. Nah. And there's a girl with $2 a month that's fucking. Nah. And do, she's like, what? Give me a dollar. I'll do it. I'll show she you whatever. She done posted three minutes. <laughs> you it's start getting mad at the 25 minutes. Tape left. <laughs> yeah, you start getting mad at the $25 a month. I was going to do it anyway. A month bitch like, hey, man, you don't appreciate my money. The, the, way most, the day do. they take that shit off, that's, I'm deleting all that shit. <laughs> That shit uh, keep my timeline spicy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, them niggas arguing. Okay. Uh, stupid, stupid whole thoughts. Titties. Uh, titties, titties. Flyer. <laughs> White person. Oh, I've they never... getting roasted in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Titties, titties. Man, I uh, have to be stimulated. I've never heard anybody who, like, at first I thought it was jokes. What? You know, the whole titties thing. Carlos really like titties. What make you think I don't? Nah, at first, because you funny. Oh. So I was like, oh, this is, this is, uh, and you know niggas that have a thing. Yeah. Right? So I was like, oh, maybe this is his thing. And then I was around I'm about long to enough switch. to where I was I'm about like, to switch the this ain't ass, no man. thing. This nigga like titties. I'm about like, to switch the real. ass, though, man, because I'm being underappreciated. Really? Yeah, I feel like I get more love in the ass community. 
That's crazy. Yeah, man. Really you don't appreciate I even it. said that shit in a video. I was like, nigga. Because <laughs> like, they were trying to talk shit about Cardi B titties. Yeah. I was like, niggas need to have a healthy titty appreciation. It ain't nothing like bad Carlos. you can say about Cardi B titties. No, it, it, that's what was fucking me. I was like, if we you got know, into the point now that we can see some titties we uh-uh. weren't supposed to see you know why? and then criticize them, I this, was thankful. I never thought I was going to see. You don't get to criticize <laughs> no titties that's been a mama before. Yeah. That's like, for real. That's they're, real. They're just like your titties graduation day. When you use your titties <laughs> for what they act with, well, like God, God made, made them for, yeah. whatever you they come on, judged. The, bruh, it they was are weird above to me. They're like titties that went to college. They're no like, master degree titties. <laughs> Respect B, them titties. Those are superstar titties. Them titties those are millionaire titties. They you did scoop exactly them titties. what they was here for. Yo, nigga, you scoop them when you suck them. It's a nigga out of respect living in his auntie's basement going. I never suck Cardi B titties. Nigga, you would never be around Cardi B to get close to her titty. Nigga, what? What arrogance do <laughs> you have that you like? It'd nah, be an I'll honor turn that to down. Suck Nigga, her no, titty it would be day. an honor. Yeah. Nigga, I just can't. I hate the internet, bro. I was like, nigga, you never had a shot. I would, it would be on the house. <laughs> You know, I like, for the work you do, well, yeah, I come to offset <laughs> humbly with my hand in my head. By no means is this disrespect. Sir. And this ain't even no no sexual shit. No, it's this not. This is a tension relieving titty, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Offset. This I'm, is this is action. I just come here. Acupuncture. Whatever. Let I'm you at. know humbly. It's acupuncture. <laughs> acupuncture. <laughs> acupuncture. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. You, you know the shit with the needles. <laughs> you get to this titty. What if, what if a woman had like back problems? You sucked the titty and her back went straight. Yeah. Huh? You sucked the How, titty. No, I'm saying like what if a woman the... had a back like a had back problem. You sucked a titty and her back went straight. You fix the back. Then you know what kind of like you'd be the craziest doctor ever. That'd be on the news everywhere. Only one doctor would do it. I would swear I'm the only one in the world. I cure your scoliosis. Why well, with the Carlos? Exactly. He put both my titties together. Oh, it's a <laughs> surgical procedure, but it's non-invasive. Right. Non-invasive. <laughs> you didn't know you, how you were supposed to be standing. You needed a realignment. You just needed a little adjustment. I didn't want to do it, but they say it costs right. 60000 a titty. I don't know. It's 60000 a titty. Oh, no. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> the nigga suck titties doing mouth exercises. He <laughs> come in, he wee, 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 wee. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to save somebody's back. That's what I'm doing with it, man. Jesus. I do stupid shit with the titties, man. Nigga, uh, nigga, most niggas just know to suck them. I got one titty rule, man. On my head and shit. Because I'm bald head. I be all up under them bitches. I bet that shit feels good. <laughs> titties on my mind. <laughs> I put the titties on my head. I, uh, I only got one jail. titty rule, man. <laughs> if there is anything about your titty that you have to explain, tell me before I see it. Fuck if, that. Nah, I let don't want. I me. don't want shock. I don't want shock titties. Let you, that titty tell me. Let the titty tell you. <laughs> I'm like a titty. What have you been doing, like titty? <laughs> she don't gotta tell me. I'm gonna discover what happened. Is that a like, black and mild like burn? titty? What is like that if your titty? titties are supposed to be side by side, but, but instead they, they one on top of each other. Say that to me before you take your shirt off. I ain't tell never seen that. no titties on top of each other. <laughs> if if you don't have a nipple, where you just from? Just tell me that before I oh. Where you from? North Carolina. What part? Like Concord, right outside Concord. Concord. They got upside down titties on Upside there? down titties, I'm just saying, man. If you're missing one, let me know before you come. Like, just let me know. I like to be surprised. Don't let me know nah, shit, Don't surprise bro. me. <gasps> I don't, because I wear my... Uh, I haven't seen inverted nipples in so long. I wear my thoughts on my face. I'm not really, I don't have no poker face. So if you show me something fucked up, my face is gonna tell you I think it's fucked up. Yeah. So tell me. I just ain't never had these many negative thoughts about it. Like, that. like I when y'all play this back, when y'all play this back, when this titties. nigga talking about a dude possibly being with my baby mama and fucking her, watch my face. I'm laughing, I'm like, ah. You really, <laughs> I didn't know you were still thinking about that. <laughs> I'm not still really thinking about it. Yes, I'm telling them. Yes. I'm telling them. I I have a terrible poker face. You gonna be up all yeah. night tonight? Ain't nah, you? nah, he nah. calling as soon as he get out of here. Yeah. Nah, I, was like, ah. I was like, I have a terrible because that ain't even a thought I have, and he just was like, Why wouldn't you think that? Because mm-hmm. I, I don't think I care. You do. 
I don't think I care. I, nah, you don't care until you do. You do. But yeah, I don't really care. So yes, it's not a thought. Uh, it's not a thought. Maybe, 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 uh, hey, uh, hey, no, maybe, maybe it's not my baby syndrome. You do. Mm, nah. But <laughs> it, don't laugh I was just like, nah, Carlos was like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, nah, I'm just playing. Like, no, okay. put that shit in your head. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, hey, I don't need it. He was like, no, every man needs. I hate to have this in the back of his for you, man. And I'm sitting there, <laughs> all right, nigga. Okay. Right. I moved in. I hate to be that. <laughs> hate to be that guy, man. I'm sorry. I can't wait to watch it to see my face. Oh, my poker face is trash. I no, because you, you set it up like <laughs> nice, like you was finna. Declare your love. Yeah, like I, how, I how, how, how how I. She made I, me a father, man. That's my I most. Did that's it my, right. That's my biggest title. No matter what I accomplish in the world, man. Everybody doesn't get the privilege to be a father, and get the privilege of having fatherhood and in, in a mostly stress-free environment. All my niggas going through it <laughs> with the mother of their kids, yo. And I don't, I don't have that issue. So that's because they ain't good fathers. No, no, nah, some of these women ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of bad ones out there. Yeah. Nah, I can't. I can't be. I can't really be around niggas who uh, not good fathers, man. I'm not going to. Cause yeah, I can't. I can't do it. Ow, what we gonna talk about? I mean, I just don't understand them niggas, man. Mm. I don't get it. My, my children changed, my daughter changed my life. That's what made me really go hard with my career. I, didn't, I knew, like, I didn't have any uh, real goals. Like I said, I was sitting around trolling motherfuckers. I ain't got Damn. no goals. Uh, worrying about the wrong shit, whatever. But whenever I found out I was going to have a daughter, I was like, oh, this changes everything. Because she's going to look to me for a lot of things. She's going to look to me to decide what her idea of a man is. Now your son gonna watch this and be like, oh, well just fuck me then, huh, daddy? Huh? You wasn't here yet. I didn't change your life. You wasn't nigga. here yet, You wasn't gonna nigga. change for me, huh? You wasn't here just yet. Just gonna keep being a man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I realized, and also I was like, what if she wants to follow her dreams? What can I tell her? Because I never even tried. I never even tried to do anything. I was content with bare minimums. Forever. Yeah. So what was I? What was I gonna teach her? So I would. I would be better off trying and failing. At least I'd have something to give to her. Yeah. That's cool. You you flipped this whole conversation though to get out their relationship. I know. Cool. <laughs> no, my daughter, man. What if she want to ride horses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. I'm saying. And that's my little pony. And that's, that's my right. little pony, bro. I'm raising her right. You know, she inspired me to learn how to write in cursive. <laughs> <laughs> About your son. Nah, 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 nah. Do any of you niggas still remember how to write in cursive? Nah. I gotta be a nigga for my son. <laughs> he need to see his daddy. Nah. Be himself so he can learn. Nah, my son. What about man. your daughter? Well, you know, she might want to be a party planner. Nah, man. I just found out my daughter's an AIG, man. A little smart kid. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, man. I don't my know what that man. is. I was gonna uh, academic. Uh, academically and intellectually gifted kids. Okay, I didn't know. I was gonna uh, pretend like a motherfucker. AIG, ooh, she going yeah, to this space. North Carolina she shit. College. She going to space, ain't she? Nah, she, uh... <laughs> That's the aeronautics program. Hey, what? She will be, but <laughs> she, she was always... Always, but she was always, like, one of those kids. You know everybody think they kids smart. Everybody do. Yeah, everybody do. But I didn't even have nothing positive to follow up with oh, that. Man. Yeah. Well, you know, my son, he, uh, he playing ball. Now. Yeah. Everybody think they kids so I don't one do that about my kids. Like, I'm not like, I knew, <laughs> I, made sure I, I knew she was smart and I worry about my son. Man, I saw my son play basketball. I don't give a damn how smart he is. This nigga had three blocks in a row. I was like, this nigga going to the league. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, win motherfucking yeah. championship. <laughs> Ain't nobody tell him to do it. was like, Rebound. I was like, this is looking my tumble. That's hustle. That's hustle. Hey, somebody need to get on Twitter. They need to put somebody on Twitter. I don't think my son gonna play that no shit sports. For what? He my mad son out there dogging bro. niggas. He mad uncoordinated. He gonna get in a NASCAR or something. He gonna be on somebody pit crew. That's about as close to sports as that nigga gonna get. 
You got it. I don't know that's there. <laughs> Cause they gotta start changer. somewhere with go cars or some shit. Nah, know, he love right. cars. I think that's it. He gonna change tire. He gonna be the poof, 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 poof. He gonna be that nigga. You know, that's it. Man, <laughs> man, I'm telling you, this nigga can't even walk in a circle. He just ain't got the coordination, bro. Love that dude. Well, he got to play something where you don't have to walk in circles. <laughs> yeah, NASCAR. Oh, well, that's a whole Pit damn. Crew. Yeah, they in circles though. Nah, he put gas in the car. Oh. When they come over, it's like he the nigga. He ain't ready to go. But it's still in the circle. <laughs> nah. So, nah, he's. You man, know. you never know with these kids, man. Nah, you never know. He might be a late bloomer, man. He just, you know. No, he's so a happy kid. They gotta grow I like into that he body. ain't bad. That's what I'm saying. I just love that he ain't a bad kid. I ain't. They, they just don't cause me no issues. I got lucky. Because yeah, I was did. a badass kid. Yeah. Man, we used to uh, stand on the roof of a, like, in the apartment complex. We climbed on top of the roof of the office building in the apartment complex and would take the shingles off the roof, and kids would run back and forth, and we would frisbee them like dodgeball. They hit the kids going, <laughs> yeah, nigga, I was a badass kid. And to me, I was like, yeah, why wouldn't you do that? That's normal. Mm. And then uh, I remember a friend of mine, <laughs> shout out to Jamel, used to take bullets and when we hit them with hammers and make them go off. That, yeah, like you shaking your head like, the fuck wrong with them kids? At the time, that shit made all the sense in the world to me. Until like my brother was like, am I bleeding? I was like, we should stop hitting these bullets. <laughs> with these hammers. I think this shit is dangerous. I think we thought it was just making the sound of a gun going on, but we never really thought that it was uh, so. <laughs> Yo. Y'all was Looney Tunes. Yo, we were kid like, that shit was crazy. That's, I just, I bro, just think you, about a lot of shit that. Yeah, you different, bro. We got to get the fuck out of here. Yo. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Don't I, ever, yeah. I nah. saw Bugs Bunny do it. Check this out. Man, the, the crazy part, that's why it's, it's so weird now being looked at as an intellectual, knowing all the, all the shit I did when I was younger. I, I could have died like 50 times Damn. doing goofy shit and then somehow now I turn into a person that people look to to make sense of things. But I used to hit bullets with hammers. I used to hit bullets with hammers. <laughs> that shit just sounds awful. Yeah, and just, pow, just like just like a gunshot. And we ain't know where it, it went. It literally is. Yeah, it, it literally is a your, It went in your brother's sound like, uh, nah, it, am I bleeding? Yeah, yeah. no, it, it went, it uh, grazed him. It grazed him. He was like, we were sitting there, and my brother was like, <laughs> was like, what's wrong with this nigga? And he lifted his shirt up, and like, blood started dropping, blood started rolling down. It was like, you know what? We should stop doing this. Yeah, forever. Forever, yeah, that was the last time I ever And did. nobody else ever, 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 ever do that. Never, yeah. ever, ever do that shit. Uh, trying to that roll weed, scary. and uh, niggas were stealing weed out their parents' house. They be trying to smoke it on the playground, rolling it in anything but the proper paper, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, I'm gonna tell you, I don't know if it's weed that make you cough, but I know magazine paper definitely <laughs> makes you cough. Like, this nigga smoking with the Victoria's Secret catalog. <laughs> boy, he's that stupid. That thick ass note card with the missing kids on it. Boy, that, do not set that on fire. Oh, you just smoked all the that is, I don't even know how you still here. I'm telling you, I could have done it. That's so many different toxins. Yeah, bruh. Just didn't make any sense, bruh. N nothing. Man, I, I grew up in uh, the middle of seven kids from two high school dropouts and like the uh, hood. It wasn't, bro, it wasn't a lot of, uh, my parents was real, <laughs> they were actually pretty strict. We, I was just bad. That's <laughs> what, I don't have no explanation. They didn't raise me wrong. They, I knew right from wrong. It's just wrong it was so fun, nigga. It was. I don't know what I was doing, nigga. I remember one time I was like six years old and I would walk to a, a corner store and it wasn't close. <laughs> Cause I wanted, somebody gave me a dollar. Like, hey look kid, it's a dollar. I was like, shit, I'm gonna walk to the corner store. And I walked and my mom got off of work. And <laughs> she was on her lunch break, ended up in the same corner store. So I'm looking through the aisle 
She's she's walking in the aisle on the opposite side of me, and I'm looking through the aisle, watching her, so she don't see me, and hoping the nigga at the register don't go, "Hey, kid, what are you doing?" I'm sitting there like, "Please, nigga, whatever you do, don't ask me what I'm doing," because my parents <coughs> were, like I said, they were strict. It wasn't that I. Some people were like, "You need your ass beat." You think they wasn't beating me? Man, my dad used to come off the top bunk with the elbow like Macho Man. Nigga, I was getting my ass destroyed. Oh, I did. yeah. <laughs> Are you want to throw shingles off the roof? <laughs> 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 no, they was my big disciplinarians. I was Stupid. just a bad kid. Damn. I was a bad kid. I don't ever hear people admit that they were bad kids. There's a lot of bad kids out here, and don't nobody be wanting to admit it. I was a bad kid. Nah, man, come on, we get money now. You say I was a troubled youth. A troubled youth? <laughs> yeah. I stopped, though. Once we, once we got out of the... No, 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 no. First year after we got out of the hood, my parents moved us out the hood, and we got to the new neighborhood. We were living in houses. We lived in a, I grew up in a cul-de-sac. Everything was cool. I remember, like, the first three months, we used to throw rocks at people's dogs. But after that, we started to get acclimated Whoa. to us. Whoa. <laughs> 85 South Show does not in any way no, condone what Ryan no. Davis Listen, is listen, <laughs> listen, listen. This was a very, very long time ago. I was a bad kid. I was a troubled youth. Yeah. There you go. Sick. I was a troubled Sick. youth. There you go. And I know better than that now. That's why mm. I'm bringing it up. Don't if, bring if it I up. Thought, no, if no I thought, no, if I thought it was that. acceptable, if I thought it was acceptable, I wouldn't have brought it up as something bad that I did. Mm. It's completely unacceptable. Wow. Completely unacceptable. Well, I'm not admitting shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The person, the person I was doing that with uh, was one of my best friends. See, now. you brought them up. They didn't oh, have shit to do with it. No, no. I was a groomsman at his wedding. He forgave me. Now everybody knows exactly He forgave me. He forgave me. Fuck that. It's my nigga. I was about to say his name, but I'm too afraid of where you're going to go. Because I already gave so much. Wow. Because I think I would have said his name. He'd be like, you won't stop. (laughs) No, don't say it. Because what if he called you two weeks from now? Hey, man. I really fucking lost my (laughs) job, Brian. (laughs) What are you telling me for? Because you went on that fucking podcast. <laughs> I didn't say I was doing I don't no. have my 401k. It was my friend. My kids have no insurance. The friend I'm, like, I'm talking about. House. Wait a second. They calling me. No. I he didn't. My killer. friend didn't do it with me. It was his dog. <laughs> I said he forgave me. It was his dog. Oh. We man. ended up being friends. So what we going to do now, funny man? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna make one of them videos. <laughs> How do I come down there and throw rocks at you? Yeah. <laughs> I can buy a dog. My mortgage is thirty six hundred dollars a month. Yeah, he getting to it too, man. He getting to it. Oh, that's funny. From me. <laughs> no, all right. That don't say no. To, that's my we, guy. Yeah, man. Yeah. I ain't saying his name. No, it, it wasn't. But no. uh, Carlos Miller, thank you for forgiving me for throwing the rocks. <laughs> I told you, <laughs> don't say the fucking thing. <laughs> White people gonna be me up. Carlos, how's your dog? <laughs> Is he okay? My sister's a veterinarian if you need nah, to Nah, man. It's an awful, man, I'm telling you, I look back, shit. and that's what I'm saying, I look back, people be like, oh, if you're bad, your kid's gonna be 10 times worse. Nah, I was lucky, man, my kids ain't got none of that in them. I got the suburban night kids, man. <laughs> Hey, yeah. look at me. I'm suburban now. Yeah. Hey, it's getting late. We're just going to go to bed. Yeah. It's 8 o'clock. Got a big day tomorrow. No more project, baby. My, I had to get my son to stop calling me Papa. Yeah. He, called, like, he, he would call me that shit like it was the 1940s and I was feeding the porridge and some shit. Papa? Some more, Papa. I'm like, who uh, told you to call me? I'm your daddy. You raising a great Gatsby. I'm your goddamn father, Papa. nigga. <laughs> it's being fivel. Yeah. Hello, Papa. It's getting late, Papa. Can we go to America oh, yeah. one day soon, Papa? Papa. Sorcerer of the day. Yeah, yeah. His mom would be like, yo, stop telling him not to call you that. That's how he identifies you. I'm like, nah, he gonna have to call me something else. Rather, what you want him to call you? I'd rather him call me Ryan than Papa. Nigga, I want Papa. him to call- 
<laughs> yeah, you gonna have to call me something else, nigga. Damn. What were you watching? <laughs> what are you watching Papa. on TV? That got you. <laughs> that damn Peppa Pig. Yeah. <laughs> Papa. And he said it like that every single time. I was like, man, pops, dad, father, nigga. I'll Master take whatever. Master of the night. Nigga, I was like, man, call me dude, whatever, nigga. But papa can't do it. It was never papa. It was always papa. Papa. Speaking of which, bro, how can they find you on Patreon? Uh, Patreon. Uh, actually, go to my uh, Instagram. Go to my Instagram. It's the link in my bio. Uh, I keep my uh, Patreon private. People always. What you doing on there? <laughs> I keep Don't my be Patreon here promoting private. your secret OnlyFans page. Nah, man. Nah. I got an OnlyFans page. Um, if you want. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't think I niggas would be into it. I don't. Okay, I don't. Man. Yeah. So, no, I don't. so the Patreon, though, no, I don't, man. is 301 Studios. That's the one we need. Yeah, 301. I didn't know you was going to let me promote that shit. I was like, damn, I ain't even know Carlos knew about that one. Nah, man, this your world, bro. Oh, okay. Do uh, your thing. Only fans, double thick licorice. Um, that one. That one's more than a uh, Patreon, though. Hey, man, just fuck you, David. Just go to this nigga Instagram. Go to right? my Instagram. <laughs> This nigga nasty, bro. Yeah, I said, nigga. Know what the fuck you selling? This is 85 South Show, yeah. man. Yeah, we out here. Let's get it on his side. I'm just fucking with you. Double thick licorice. Why you double thick licorice? My guy. Fuck with me. My, My nigga, nigga. Stupid shit. That boy crazy, man. Oh. Oh, bro. shit. What up, bro? Energy is the currency. My guy, Craig. Don't trust these hoes. Oh.